Hello everyone and we are back with Lazio in the retro database and hopefully this time we will get round to buying players like Ronaldinho, like Thierry Henry, all those kind of big time ballers back in the day and build the perfect squad of unbelievable talent in Serie A with Lazio. It's going to be absolutely class. I feel like we're going to have some big games in this in this stream. Epic Play is good to see you, my bro. How are you? Good to see you back, bro. We've got Juventus first up as well. So it's a huge game to kick off the stream as well, which is what it's always like in these streams. It's always the big games. And they always keep coming thick and fast, to be honest with you. Good to hear you're good, bro. Uh, I've got a new episode of uh, the Australian Build a Nation dropping tomorrow. Uh, it's going to be a very, very good one, a very big one. And then hopefully towards the end of the week as well, the Asian Nations Cup dropping as well, which will be absolutely class to get that save going. Liam, good to see you back, bro. KFR, good to see you, bro. RIP, the Western Sydney Wanderer save. No, bro. We, I was just saying we've got uh, an episode dropping tomorrow and we've got an episode dropping uh, at the end of the week as well. I don't know why you... Why did you mention RIP? It's not over, bro. It is not over. Don't worry about that. Just in Europa League group stage with my Latvian team. Mate, that is absolutely class. Loved, things we love to hear, man. Things we love to hear. I'm good, Liam. I'm good, thank you, man. How are you? It's Monday. It's a new week. Uh, yeah, I had a good weekend as well. Tottenham won. I was out uh, for my cousin's birthday as well on the, on the Saturday, which was very, very good. I uh, had a better time than I thought I would. Uh, yeah, so all, all good, man. Can't 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 say otherwise. It's been a it's been a great weekend and a great Monday. A great way to kick off the week as well. I went to the gym today, uh, trying to get into shape, trying to lose some uh, belly fat, and you know them ones. So, yeah. Jesus Christ, I took some pre-workout and honestly, like it, it on, I came out of the gym and I did far too much. And let's say the bush had a uh, had some vitamins it didn't didn't think it was going to get after the gym today. So <laughs> yeah, need, need need to not do that too too often. Uh, to be fair, sell Western Sydney Wanderers Walmart Marcelo and sign a real one because he's the free agent at the moment. Fair play, bro. I've got some good good signings coming in for Sydney. Don't worry. In in the second season, there'll be some good signings coming in. Um, we're after some very very good players like. A centre back from Brighton, some other young Oz players as well. So yeah, keep an eye out, bro. Keep an eye out. It's gonna be, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a long term save. It's gonna be a great save uh, on the streams. If you didn't know, we we play different saves. Um, so we're playing a retro save at the moment with Lazio. Yeah, we just we don't we don't do the streams and the YouTube videos as well. It's just yeah, that's just how we've always done it. I don't know why we've always done it that way, but we kick off today's stream against Juventus, one of the best teams on this database in my opinion, Juventus. With players like Pipo Inzaghi, Del Piero, De Livio, Deschamps, Montero, Passotto, Peruzzi, the one foot seven goalkeeper in goal. You can't say Sydney because people will assume you're talking about Sydney FC. Ah, oh, fair play, bro. Fair play. I have to say Western Sydney. No worries. I'm learning, man. I'm learning all these things about Australian football. Cypher, good to see you, my bro. How are you? But yeah, it's an education in Oz football, to be honest. Um, never managed in Oz properly before. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's been an experience so far and there's going to be a couple of episodes dropping each week, two, three episodes uh, as we move you closer to Football Manager 2024. We'll be dropping a lot more episodes, could even be one a day at some point uh, to try and get this save done before FM24 comes out. So there we go, keep an eye out. Big plans, man, big plans. Got Review your saves as well. I've got to put together the, the, the second and third uh, episodes of that. So there's a lot coming, boys. There's a lot coming. Uh, we hit 1K as well. This is the first stream after we did 1K, so... I mean, thanks, guys. Thanks for that. That was absolutely incredible. Yeah, and be careful not to see to see Western too much because Western United. <laughs> oh, yeah, true. <laughs> yeah, you got Western United as well. Yeah, I did. I can't believe I forgot about him. And it's a penalty early on to Lazio. Surely that's a penalty on Stankovic. Yeah, Western Sydney Wanderers or WSW. Can I call them that? Can I call them WSW? Is that fine? Penalty awarded. Come on, who steps up? Joseph, good to see you back, bro. How have you been, man? Almelda steps up. The AEK manager in real life sends Peruzzi the wrong way. Let's go. Thanks, Liam, bro. Yeah, it was a big achievement, man. Big achievement. Honestly, I took my wife out for dinner that night. Um, 
that we did the 1K and sort of celebrated. I know it's a small thing, but it's been something we've been working towards since we started the channel, and I never thought we'd get here this this soon, to be honest. I thought it was going to take me a year or two, to be honest. Um, but yeah, onwards and upwards, man. Onwards and upwards. Some of us ultras called WSW the RBB. Okay, bro. Red Black Boys, it stands for. Okay, fair. Fair. I mean, I'm learning all the time, man, and I appreciate I appreciate the education, honestly. Speaking of Lazio, they're in my Europa League group. What happened to the Isle of Man? Mate, we're just taking a, a, a break from it at the moment. Um, we're just taking a break. We had a, we, we've had we done it since we started the channel. Oh, Pipo Inzaghi gets the goal. Um, Simon Penenka. <laughs> hey, Casey, good to see you, bro. Uh, basically, Joseph, like, we're just taking a little break from it. We're just playing a little save in between, like, uh, just to... Just to break it up a little bit, like we're just gonna do a couple of seasons in this database, and then we'll head back to the Isle of Man. Don't worry about that, bro. Don't worry about that. It's just that we, we all needed a break from it. It was emotionally draining, um, and yeah, just fancied something a little bit different. And this brings something a little bit different, to be honest. So, but don't worry, it'll be back. Still got the shirts. Don't worry. Mihailovic wins the ball, but I can't believe Juventus got their goal back through the man who scores plenty of goals himself, Pipo Inzaghi. What a striker he was. Good to hear you've been good, Joseph, man. Good to hear you've been good. Sergio can't say Sal. How did everyone feel about the uh, games at the weekend? I mean, I, I missed the Saturday games. Oh, Stankovic was never missing from there. Come on, Dayan. Uh, I missed the Tottenham games. So I was out for my cousin's birthday, and I kept getting the notifications on my phone. And a lot, there, we had, like, a lot of them, were, my cousin's a West Ham fan, so I was getting ribbed when Burnley went 1-0 up, but it soon changed after... After Sonny's hat trick, so I'm I'm very pleased with that. I watched the Arsenal Man United game yesterday as well. To be honest, I had Casey can tell me otherwise, but I thought Arsenal genuinely deserved to win, and that that's coming from a Spurs fan. I I did think at one stage United would nick it. I did think like Garnacho's goal, it was offside. If you look at it, it is offside by the letter of the law. It's offside. It's tight, but it's offside. Havertz was it a penalty? You've seen them given. You've you've seen them given. Um, but yeah, I just felt like Arsenal were a better team at times. Man United are very good on the counter. Shame the game the way ended it did. Um, lucky goal from Declan Rice. And I didn't see the third the third one. Because uh, me and my wife was playing Diablo 4 after that. But yeah, it was a lot. Yeah, I mean, Arsenal, they'll get their comeuppance, to be honest. They'll get their comeuppance. So I think we're playing them next. I think this Spurs Arsenal after the international break. If I remember rightly, I, th I think we are playing them next. So hopefully we get the, uh, we get the smash against them. Uh, I could be wrong. Or maybe they said that was Arsenal's next home game, which could be in a couple of weeks' time. But, yeah, Big Ange is doing big things for Tottenham. Garnacho on plus Hoyland should have had a penalty. Yeah, that was a penalty. I I, I, I thought Hoyland should have had a penalty as well. Uh, he, he, he was bullying the centre-backs. He looked very, very strong. He Once he starts, he's going to start scoring. Once he gets his fitness back, he's going to be he's going to be tough to handle that, lad. I'm telling you. He looks an absolute baller. An absolute baller. I... He just needs his fitness. He's been injured, so he's, he's not quite there yet. But, yeah, and don't count Liverpool out this season as well. Liverpool look very good. Nightbot, good to see you, my bro. How are you? As Delivio goes through. Angelo Delivio, Pipo Inzaghi. Oh, and it's bounced nicely for Alejandro Nesta. Eka David's there as well. Can we hold on against Juventus for, a, for you know to kick off the stream in fashion as well? They brought on Thierry Henry for Alessandro Del Piero, so... I mean, what a substitution that is. If you haven't got Delp on the pitch, you've got, you've got, you know, Thierry Henry. Juventus had a crazy team back in the day, man. They had a crazy, crazy team. As we push up the league as well, hopefully we can hold on to this win. And we've got the Cup Winners' Cup coming up as well. I feel that's a competition we could win, lads, as well. Cup Winners' Cup, I, I mean, we should be pushing on all guns for that. Paolo on the ball now. Still Paolo. Looking to whip one. Doing his best Silento impression. Almeida. Pa ne uh, Paolo. Almeida. Salas. Oh, I thought Salas was going to win it for us at the depth. Can we hang on for a crucial win against Juve? And we do. Big way to start the stream, lads, as we beat Juventus. Let's go, boys. Let's go. I'm actually having a lot of fun playing this database. Mate, it's a great database. For me, it's all about nostalgia. Like, this is the database that I grew up on, really. Like, this kind of era. Like, football manager, football manager, sorry, championship manager 0102 is, is, is what I pretty much grew up on. So, all of these players, pretty much the players that I grew up buying and, and really got me into football manager and championship manager uh, at the time. So, 
yeah, it's uh, it's. I mean, it's it's just it's legend. Like being able to sign these players again is is absolutely class. W win from Epic from Liam and get in from Epic as well, mate. We don't normally start streams with wins, but we've done it today. Come on, <laughs> it means we're in for a good time, lads. And we're here for a long time today as well, lads. So get settled in with your drinks, with your snacks. We're gonna be here till about eight o'clock. Um, as you, you probably know, uh, gonna try and get longer streams underway. Uh, give you guys some more content as well. Uh, yeah, and. You know, maybe once we finish this uh, Lazio save, maybe we'll do an online save together or something, lads. If you if you guys are up for that, um, towards the end of FM twenty three, we that's definitely something we could do uh, as well. Just, I just feel like I was thinking about this at the weekend. Is that mixing up the streams would be quite good? I don't know what you guys think, so you don't see the same thing every time. Playing some of your club legends feels amazing. Oh, mate, it does. Honestly, it genuinely does. Like, I mean, not not as a Spurs fan because we were rubbish. Um, back in the day so yeah if there was like a 2005 2006 database then i'd be tottenham because we had a good team then but yeah i mean at the moment sol campbell's playing for tottenham and I, I'd, I'd just sell him for a pound so yeah could be coming out earlier yeah i've heard that bro i've heard I, someone told me they reckon it could be the end of september early october because it is just a database overhaul it, it there's nothing else that's coming into the game it's literally if you look at what they've said about it, and I did a TikTok video when it first came out, is that it's very much, it's a database overhaul where you can carry on your saves. Um, I am hoping for a change in fortunes. Not quite going to plan for us. Hmm. I haven't seen that one before. That's a new one. Have you seen my Arsenal team? I haven't been in the Discord a lot today, mate, because I've been at work. But if you put it, if you put it in there, I will, I will see it at some point, man. I genuinely will look at it at some point. Yeah, I, that's what I've heard, but it's it's unconfirmed. Like it's not a confirmed date or anything. I would never pay fifty million for fifty pound for FM, bro. You won't have to because hopefully, and fingers crossed, touch wood, all that kind of stuff, is that if you're playing on PC next year, I'll have an affiliate link. So you'll get like 30% off or 20% off or something. There'll be a discount offer in there. Um, so yeah, you can buy it via my affiliate link and yeah, get a discount on the game. So it won't be £50. It'll be like, I don't know, 40 40 38 something like that. Um, but yeah, once once I confirm all that kind of stuff, I'll let you guys know. Obviously, there's no obligation for you to purchase anything. like. But if you wanted a discount, it's there, if that makes sense. Um, yeah, I just wanted to put that out there. I'm not asking you to buy something. Just, you know, there will be an option for that potentially. Xbox Game Pass, yeah, you could use that as well. That's always a good option, Liam, bro. Get it for free. Um, I think it's great that it's on Game Pass, to be honest. I think it's really good. Maybe we can have FM24 online saves if it comes out early. Yeah, man, 100%. 100%. Maybe that's something we can do. Definitely next year. We're going to have... I'm thinking about like revamping a lot of things. Um, so, yeah, any ideas that you guys have got, 100% we can run with them. Um, 100%. As we play Grass... Is it Grasshoppers we're playing in the... In the Cup Winners' Cup? I think it is. Is it Grasshoppers? Yeah, Grasshopper Zurich. Always find that team name mad. I bought FM23 back in June and got $20 off. Yeah, man, that's the thing. that You can with, like, if you find, like, a good link out there somewhere. Um, but, yeah, hopefully for FM24 I'll have one of those um, so you guys can get it slightly cheaper. And my wife can buy it for me slightly cheaper as well. So, <laughs> there we go. Although I won't get any money for that transaction because that would technically be kind of you know, not money laundering, but it'd be a bit frowned upon. Um, I don't think they'd like that. But yeah, we'll, we'll see. We'll see when it comes out, man. Um, I'm hoping it's sort of late October. Um, I don't mind it comes out in early November, to be honest. But I feel like just because it's a database update, I think it will be out slightly quicker than than what we what we usually see. To be fair, um, which is fine. Which is fine. I, I think I think that's going to be. Mihailovic misses. Oh. Wife has an early Christmas present sorted. <laughs> yeah, mate, 100%. She buys it for me every year. Like, ah, oh, mate, story time, honestly. First date, we were... Actually, it wasn't the first date. That's a lie. Second date we went on, it was the day Football Manager came out. It was the 5th of November. And Football Manager... I, I always take the day off work as well to play Football Manager. I'm that kind of sad person that always did that, no matter whether I'm a content creator or not. Like, I did it anyway. Um, and yeah, she, she wanted to go on a second date, and it was a concert at the O2. Uh, Bring Me the Horizon? Uh, and I, I, I don't like that type of music, boys. I won't be. I won't lie to you. I, I'm, I'm a grime man. Uh, I, I like you know Wiley, Skepta, Gigs, that kind of music. And I thought, you know what? I'm gonna go because I like her. Like you know, second date. Let's see what what what's happening in that. 
And it was the first time I actually went out of the house when a football manager came out. Like normally, my mates had asked me to go clubbing with them. They'd asked me anything. I wouldn't go. But yeah, this time it was. Uh, it, it, it was, uh, and obviously it turned out the way it turned out. So there we go. If you know, if you leave your the best thing in your life to go and see someone that you you know potentially like, you know it's going to end well. So there's the moral of that story, lads. Don't want to bore you with my uh, dating history there, but there we go. Ng, good to see you, my bro, man. How are you? But yeah, as we go one up against Grasshopper Zurich, coming off that big win against Juventus, it's all clicking into place for Lazio. Hopefully we can get a cup win and push our way up the table and bring in some ballers as well. I mean, there's so many ballers I want to bring in. Sergio Conceição gets his fourth goal of the season. There we go. Big goal. Finishes off Grasshopper Zurich and probably wins us the group and puts us through, to be fair. Yeah, 15 points. We've definitely through. Well, he's probably through already before this, um, but we've definitely won the group as well. Good to hear you. Good, NG, bro, man. But, yeah, it's a shame about... Do Lovely story, bro. Oh, man. I literally, I've got so many stories, lads. Like, honestly, I sometimes I think I'm making them up myself. I'm Genuinely, I'm not. It's just there's so many things that happen uh, in and around my life. It's just, uh, yeah, it's a bit of a mad one still. <laughs> but yeah, I can't remember what save I was doing on that one though. I genuinely can't remember what save. I think I was doing Inter Milan. I think I was playing as Inter. Yeah, I was Inter Milan. And it would have been, how long have we been going out now? Maybe seven years. So what FM is that? FM 2015? I think I was Inter Milan. It's a good save. I mean, I can't remember most of it, but uh, yeah, I think it was a good save, to be honest. <laughs> um, there we go. 15 points, Grasshoppers and Stauer fighting it out to go through. Ivan Della Pena's corner in is cleared. As Skodenfelder, what a name. Sergio Conte out of a big tackle, but here's Johan Vogel. He was a good player back in the day, Johan Vogel. Maladam Petric was good as well. I don't know who Hass is. Charlie Hass from WWE. He's offside. He's well offside. Evan Ludi is offside there. Proper offside. I'm not celebrating offside goals or getting worried about offside goals anymore. Pascal Zubarula was a very good goalkeeper for Switzerland back in the day. Stankovic, what a player he was for Inter. I, didn't, I can't remember him playing for Lazio, to be honest, but clearly he did. But here we go, lads. Come on, let's finish off Grasshoppers. I always loved that name. Like I've always wanted to do a save in, in Switzerland, but never really done one. I did, I did, I mess, I did a mess around one when Salah was at, um, when Salah was at Baal. Uh, Basel, whatever you want to call them, uh, back in the day. But yeah, there we go. 3 0, lads. Done and dusted against Grasshopper Zurich. We can make some subs. We can bring off players like Dejan Stankovic, who is absolutely shattered. I don't know who Fernando Cavari is, but he's coming on. Lombardo for Pavel Nedved. And that's the five. We're cooking from Liam, mate. It's, it's good to see us actually cooking on a stream. Like, I feel like sometimes I play my own saves and, like, my Western Sydney Wanderers team is cooking. Don't get me wrong, like, but the AI in Asia isn't the best. So, just putting it out there, like, if you want an easy save, Australia's a good place to do it because you can literally pick any team, like, get a good tactic, sign some good players, and you'll be cooking against everyone, to be honest. doesn't really matter. But, yeah, I mean, it's the first time that on stream we're actually cooking with gas like we're, we're going with gas which is good we're gonna we're gonna hopefully win a european trophy which i genuinely think we will like i know aston villa are in here they're a good side but yeah the draw could make or break us to be honest but we'll see oh della pena's injured and i can't take him off damn it can't say sal can i not i don't think there's got any subs left have i no i didn't think i had any subs left i uh, will just go defensive because we're playing with a uh, Technically, with a man down, to be honest, as Paolo brings the ball forward. But how was everyone's weekend? Did you all have a good one, yeah? I hope it was all, all good, apart from, obviously, the football results that we spoke a little bit about earlier. It's a shame. And, obviously, you know, the Saudi the Saudi uh, transfer window doesn't close until tomorrow. So, we could see some more players going to Saudi Arabia. I mean, Salah's the one that's been linked the heaviest. But I know they've said that he's not for sale and all of this stuff but if they put 250 million pound on the table i don't think liverpool will turn that down i think they turned down 150 which is which i think is fair enough 150 for salah from saudi is not 
in my opinion, that's not enough for, for Salah. From Saudi, anyway. Any of the area of the team that we need to improve? Yeah, mate, we need to improve centre-back and right-back. Center, we need to find another five-star centre-back. We need another right-back. And we probably need some good central midfield players as well. Our strikers are incredible. Like we've got Salas and Vieri, but midfield centre we're lacking a bit as well. Um, but yes, yeah, definitely centre-back partner for Nesta is, is where we're lacking. And I was looking just before, actually, um, before we came onto the stream at some players. Um, and I feel like we should bring in this lad, Narcisio. And I know KC said he was very good for him on uh, his Man United save. So I think we should bring him in. We'll probably get him for like a million pounds or something. We still turn down every offer this season. Fair enough. Toby, good to see you, my bro. But next year, Salah's going to go. I don't know. Do you know what? I just think you should cash in. I know the transfer window's gone, so it would be like an absolute like shocker if, if they let him go. But, I mean, if you're getting 200 million, I, to be honest with you, mate, I, I would take 200 million. Massimo Donati, he was a good player back in the day as well. Lee Clark. Oh, my God. Lee Clark. What a throwback industrious centre midfield player from Sunderland Jorginho it's not that one uh, Diana Mohamed Callon was a very talented player just never lived up to it Rui Costa oh Rui Costa what a player Jack Inada, one of the players that doesn't ever get spoken about enough but was also a good player back in the day Boban Ferrati Angelo Jolivio good player as well like good squad player Salantarina away from home. We should pick up some points here as well, I'd reckon. Alvaro Recoba on loan from Inter. He's only worth 700k. Nah, they can't say Recoba's that bad. Recoba was a baller. What if we don't get Champions League again? Pfft, yeah, then he'll definitely want to go. Go sign some Croatian players, mate. If they're good enough, I'll sign them. If they're good enough, I'll sign them. I'll sign anyone who's good enough. But get thinking, lads. Centre backs. Any good centre backs from back in the day? That you can think of. And I'm waiting for uh, Casey or Toby to say Franz Beckenbauer. Or you know players that have uh, long retired since. But um, yeah, there we go. Who is going to join them? World class players I'm talking about. Yeah, true. If Salah leaves in January, who should Liverpool sign? Toby with the questions in the chat there. <sighs> Such a good question. Who should Liverpool sign if Salah goes? I mean, unrealistically, if I was Liverpool, I'd go for Son. Like, I don't think he'd leave Tottenham to go to Liverpool, but I think Son at Liverpool would be very good. But I think Liverpool would go down the route of a young player. A youngish player. They've got Diaz, they've got Gapo already, so they're already trying to build them into the squad as, like, Salah's replacements. But I don't know. Who would they get? Who would you get at Liverpool? I mean, Chelsea seems to be buying everyone left, right and centre. Goncalo Ramos. Didn't he go to PSG in the end? Did he go epic? I don't. I can't remember if he actually went to PSG. I know he's linked to PSG a lot. Would Mbappe be realistic for Liverpool? Oh, NG's or I know NG's getting excited about that one. Um, he's getting excited about um, about Mbappe coming to Liverpool, but no, he's going to Real Madrid next year. But like there, no one can tell me otherwise. Mbappe goes to Real Madrid. Like there's just no, no, like thought in my mind. Saka to Liverpool, but he ain't coming. You know, Saka wasn't that great yesterday for Arsenal, I didn't think. I didn't think he was all that. Like, he has great games. I mean, Martinelli would be good at Liverpool, but I don't think he'd go to Liverpool. I don't think Arsenal would sell him to Liverpool. Um, he'd be good for Liverpool, though. Martinelli, unrealistic one as well. Trying to think around the Premier League, any other wingers that are like tearing it up week after week. Jared Bowen? Would you take Jared Bowen at Liverpool? I think that'd be a good signing for Liverpool. Jared Bowen. Realistic signing as well. West Ham would sell him to Liverpool. Like... I don't know how old Jared Bowen is, though, isn't he? He's like 27, 28. He's got to be, isn't he? So it'd be a short-term option, but he'd be an option for Liverpool, in my opinion. I think he'd do well. Salas comes in at Cam. No, Mbappe, no chance. Mbappe is going to Real Madrid. 100% NG, bro. Couldn't agree more. I genuinely think that's, that's Mbappe's future is Real Madrid. He's got a Real Madrid clause in his contract, apparently. I don't know if that's a Fabrizio confirmation, but there is sort of talks of him saying, I'll sign a deal and I'll play for PSG, but I'm, I'm, I'm out of real come. We need a left-footed winger. Oof, that's a good shout. I mean, who would you go for? Do you know what? Would, would Liverpool take a risk on someone like Yon Visa or Brian and Bumo? Like, would you take a risk? Like, because they're good players. But would you take a risk on them? It's got to be Foden or Saka to replace Salah. Man City, 
To be fair, I won't put it past Man City selling Foden. Like, they sold Cole Palmer, which I think is ridiculous. They should never have sold him. As Nedved puts us one in front against Sal Antonio. Going from Salah to Bowen would be the worst downgrade ever. <laughs> He's a good player, Toby. He's a good player. But yeah, you're right. It is a downgrade. Let's be honest. He's not on the same level as, as Mo Salah. But not a lot of players are. Like, who's on the same level as Salah? You've got to say... I mean, would you even say Salah's above players like Neymar? I'd say Salah's better than Neymar. Bowen, nowhere near the level to replace Salah. Fair play. I mean, yeah, then the players like Visa and Mbumo, definitely not then. But... I mean, I'm trying to think round Europe, like, in the European leagues, like, who, who is there that could play? Rafael Leal? Would you take Rafael Leal? I mean, it'd take a lot of money to pry him away from, from Milan, but, I mean, Rafael Leal would suit Liverpool down to the ground, in my opinion. I know Salah plays mostly off the right, but Leal can play left and right. I know he's predominantly left, but I feel like Rafael Leal would be perfect for, for Liverpool. As we go 2-0 up against Salah Antonio... Bobo Vieri puts us two up. Here is Pancaro into Sergio Salas. Oh, he plays a poor ball. He's not really in the playmaker. Elliot Rocker would be quality replacement for Bowen. Don't know who that is, bro. I don't know who that is. Here is Mihailovic playing at left back for us. He's a very good player. Paolo on the ball playing centre back. Stankovic in midfield. Here goes. We need a cam as well, lad. So think about cams that we could buy. With uh, with Lazio. Nedved. Oh, Nedved with the goal. Pavel Nedved makes it 3-0 in 15 minutes. And this score could get out of hand against Sal Antonio. Lazio a massive Liam. Let's go, Brian. Let's go. Leal would be class. I reckon Leal would be a good signer for Liverpool. Yeah, that was a better suggestion um, from me. Sal Antonio got Gattuso. Lads, we've got to buy Gattuso, surely. Like, to play centre midfield, I mean, it'll probably get him cheap, but Gattuso at Lazio would be class. I don't know if he's a Liverpool player. Ooh, NG, that's a big call, bro. Rafa Leal's a good player. Like, I think he'll play for any any club, to be honest. Like, he's world class. I reckon won't be happy there. Too much work for him. Elliot Rocker is a winger at Witten Albion. <laughs> I knew there was going to be some sort of Witten, Witten thing in there, bro. I was like, Elliot Rocker, is he like... Some sort of like Dutch player or something. You know what I mean? Like young Ajax player I've never heard of. Or PSV player I've never heard of. But no, he plays for Witten. Hey, mate, stranger things have happened. But would Witten want to sell him? <laughs> That's the thing. How much would Witten want for him? A couple of tracksuits and two McDonald's or something. Nedved. Oh, he tried to have his hat-trick there. He was just very unlucky from Pavel Nedved there. Sasha Mah Sinisha Mihailovic. Rest in peace, bro, man. What a player he was. Big Pav on the wing. Still Big Pav. Salas. 18th goal of the season from Marcelio Salas. And Lazio are finally cooking, lads. Finally cooking. Finally turning this form around. Pushing ourselves up the table. Johnny Evans and Maguire, the best defending duo. Oh, mate. Yesterday, when they put Evans and Maguire on, I was like, what is Ten Hag doing? But then it was injuries, wasn't it? So... I just thrashed Andorra 10-0 away. Mate, what a result. What a result. Giancampolo pulls one back for them. Good finish from the lad there. Federico Giampaolo makes it 4-1. Mate, your Latvia team must be good, man. I would love to do a Latvia build a nation. I mean, I, I might try one one day. It's whipped in. San Antonio have no points as well. So, I mean, we can't let them come back into this game. I mean, we're cooking, but... We don't, we don't, we don't want to, he's a player, had a player scored a hat-trick and four assists in that game. That's mad, bro. That's actually madness. A hat-trick and four assists and didn't even get mad at the match. Jesus Christ, someone scored six goals or something. Like, must have been crazy. Bobo, finished. I think he's offside though. I think Bobo's offside there. It's a great finish from Vieri though. What else does he have to do? Bribe the referee, I don't know, something. He's got to do something. I mean, it, that sounds like a 10 out of 10 performance. Goal, Bobo was onside. Makes it 5-1. Did anyone see the Havertz miss yesterday when he just sort of, like, kicked thin air? Like, he looked like a Sunday League player. I feel, I feel so sorry for Havertz because there's a player in there. There's Genuinely, there's a player in there. But yesterday, oh, my God. He, he, was, he just needs confidence. Like, Arsenal should put him on penalties. Like, just give the boy some confidence and he'll be fine. 
But oh, I just feel sorry for him. Like it's a big move to Arsenal. Like he's he's playing in his best position. Like he just he just can't get any luck. Like he just he literally can't get any luck. Like I just I genuinely I know he's an Arsenal player and it's funny, but I do feel sorry for him a bit. That miss was wild, man. It was it was crazy. Like I thought, oh yeah, Havertz one 0 But yeah, pff, I mean, pff, mad miss, crazy miss. Oh, Salas with another goal as well, set up by Sergio. And this score could be anything, lads. It is 6-1 at half time. 6-1 at half time. Havertz needs to be released. The first touch was world class, then he just his fits been here. I would pay anything to get him gone from the Prem. <laughs> oh no. He'll end up back at Bayern Munich, man. Uh, he'll go back to he'll go back to Germany. He'll end up at Bayern. They'll pay like 25 million for him and he'll turn into a world class player. Havertz should go on loan to Witten to regain confidence. <laughs> Mate, he'll probably get five goals a season at Witten. Imagine what Havertz could have been if he never left Germany. Mate, if he should have gone to Bayern. I'm not being funny. If I'm a German player, and this is no offence, NG, because uh, I know Dortmund are the second biggest team in Germany, but as Salas makes it 7-1, you go to Bayern. Like, maybe Bayern wasn't into it, like interested in him at the time or didn't want to pay that sort of money, but I, I'm, waiting to, I'm waiting to go to Bayern Munich. Like, he could have had the same career as Balak. At Leib, starts at Leverkusen, goes to Bayern, and then ends up in the Premier League in the twilight of his career and puts in masterful performances. But he is a Champions League winner, Havertz. I think he didn't win Champions League once. He won Champions League once? Yeah, he won Champions League once with Chelsea. So he's had a good career. Oh, Salas. <laughs> Salas is taking the biscuit, bruv. It's 8-1 at half time. I mean, Florian Wurz is the next is the next big German thing, isn't he? I know we've, we everyone knows about that Florian Wurz. Let's, we've not discovered anything new here, lads. Like, but he he will go to Bayern one day. Him, Jamal Musiala, they'll be like long term Bayern Munich players, in my opinion. Like, and that, that's coming from me. Like, I'm not. I wouldn't say I'm a Bayern fan. Like, I I follow them because Klingsman played for them. But I would like to see Florian Wurz at. At Bayern Munich, in my opinion, I just feel like that—that's where you want to go. We can just put anyone on, lads. It's eight-one. It's actually eight-one. Nesta's coming off. Bobo's coming off. There we go. Subs at half time. Four subs at half time. Real already working to get Verts. Ramos has gone back to Sevilla. I didn't think Sevilla had any money, lads. I'm going to be honest. I didn't think Sevilla had any money. Like, I thought they was all they had to sell all their players. Oh, but didn't they sell a couple to Saudi? Didn't they sell the goalkeeper to Saudi Arabia? I think they did, didn't they? Was it Bono? 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 I think he went to Saudi, didn't he? So, maybe they've got money. But, oh, and Ramos will be a free transfer, won't he, as well? So, it's only got to pay his wages and no transfer fee. So, I mean, it does make sense. Put the goalkeeper up front on the goalkeeper on penalties. Oh, we can't put the GK up front. We'll put him on penalties, though, if there's a penalty. All right, set pieces, penalties. Where's the GK? Here he is. We put the G goalkeeper on penalties if there's a penalty in this game. They sold Buanu to Saudi for quite a lot. Well, there we go, then. As Lombardo gets injured. Well, that's good that wasn't Sergio Conte Sal, so here we go. He's old and not worth anything. Oh, yeah, that young Morocco goalkeeper. Is he young? I don't know how old that Bono is. I don't know how old he is. I think he's like he's got to be in his 30s, no? Here's Big Pav. Penalty! The goalkeeper's going to take a pen, lads! The goalkeeper's going to take a penalty! <laughs> Here we go! <laughs> this was Demoniac's dream when he was the goalkeeper. Do you remember? He wanted to take the penalty. And here we go. The penalty is going to be taken by Pavel Nedved. Nah. He was on a hat trick, wasn't he? So he's taken the penalty. Oh, that's no. Oh, I should have swat. Oh, I forgot to tick the box. As Pav scores a hat trick to make it nine one. I put him to take pens, but Pav took over. Bloody Pavel Nedved. <laughs> nine one W's. Lads, when have we ever beat teams nine one? It's never happened. It just doesn't happen. Pavel Nedved with a free kick now. Can we make it 10-1? Double digits, Tings. Oh, nearly. I feel sorry for Salantonio, boy. Their manager's like, bruh. 
9-1, bruv. It was 7-1 at half, 8-1 at half time, wasn't it? Or something. I can't remember what the score was at half time. We made the subs. We went like we sort of allowed them. So I'm like, nah, just go out there and just anyone comes on and plays, man. Anyone. Just doesn't matter. <laughs> just go on and play, bruv. <laughs> oh, I feel sorry for them, man. Nedved gonna try and get another Ballon d'Or. 100 percent bro. He's trying. He's actually trying to get that Ballon d'Or. Nedved was a baller though, lads. Nedved, one of my favourite players back in the day. Like, genuinely, one of my favourite ballers. I, I feel like he's... He's not spoken about enough, like... Rest them for two days. He's just not... He's not spoken about enough. It's a shame. What tactics is this? It's the Swanzola, mate. It's the Swanzola. <laughs> We've gone for the Swanzola. You can call me a Swanzola merchant as much as you want, but it works. I've got to play Spain next with Latvia. Oh, I hate playing Spain, man. The, to be fair, though, my Australian team at the World Cup, we nearly beat Spain. We nearly FM'd Spain, I should say. I wouldn't say we was beating them, but we, we lost by a sweaty goal. Like our goalkeeper, Matty Ryan, did something stupid and that we lost the game. But we were so close to beating them. So close to beating them. That's why I think in like the next World Cup, I feel like we've got a genuine opportunity at doing something quite good with that Australian team. If we can get some decent regens through uh, and keep Volpato and Qual going, then I, I think, yeah, I think we'll do well. But Spain always a tough team to play against. Doesn't matter what nation you are. It could be England. Spain's a tough game. Spain's a very tough game. Do doesn't matter who you are, in my opinion. As we play Stawa Bucharest. Stawa Bucharest. We're playing Death Storm's team. We have to beat them. We genuinely just have to beat them. And someone put it in a Discord after we beat them. You should make a tactic video. More tactics video. They do good. Yeah, mate. 100%. I will make... I, I've, I've got to really look at my content and think what actually works. Like, there's stuff that I want to work and doesn't work. Like, the series that... Maybe it's because it's this time of year. Football Manager 23 has lost this kind of, like... Uh, it's lost its appeal to a lot of people. Or maybe it's like could be my thumbnails are terrible, so we're trying something new in the next uh, next one. Um, but yeah, I mean tactics videos always blow up. Anything about builder nations blows up. Um, saves now and again, save recommendations they do pretty well. Um, so yeah, I mean more tactics videos. But yeah, it just uh, yeah may maybe we'll make another tactics video. Make another tactics video soon. M maybe I'll um. May maybe I'll. Because I did a I did a series on TikTok with the best tactic for say Arsenal, the best tactic for Man United, the best tactic for maybe I'll, maybe that's the way I'll go go down with it and like test out some very popular tactics and say what's the best for each team, what performs best for say Man United, what performed best for Arsenal, mate, and then like ask people to put the team they want next in the comments and and build the series that way. Maybe 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 we'll try that. Maybe we we'll try that as a series. But what do you guys think about that? I think that would be quite an interesting one. As Pancaro picks up the ball now into Sergio De La Pena. Favali playing left back. Paolo into Favali. Sergio, I think he's offside. Pav missed anyway. Good save from the keeper there. They beat us 5-1 in Latvia. I mean, it's going to be a tough game. No offence. If they're beating you 5-1 at home, it's going to be peak away. That's a class idea. Thanks, NG, bro. I appreciate that, man. Yeah, maybe we do that. Maybe we do that. I'm gonna, I'll start with a big team. Just simply because you get more views. Like, if you do Man United content, you get more views. Yeah, Dortmund, Liverpool, you're going to get a lot of views because people like to see stuff about their teams. So, yeah, I'll, maybe I'll start with a Man United one. Um, we'll test out, like, three or four different tactics and show you, like, this is the tactics we tried, this is where it finished, this is the cups it won, etc., uh, etc. Et and, yeah, maybe three tactics per video. Like from big, big creators, like you could try GYRs, you could try, you know, uh, RDFs, all those kind of ones. And, and just show people, like, if you want to be Man United, this is the tactic you should use. It will help out a lot of new players, 100%. And I think that's what that's what I didn't think about when I started my uh, YouTube channel. I, I, I didn't think... Uh, I, I didn't think about... People Google things for, I mean... United are garbage from NG. People YouTube things because they don't know how to do something. And I was just thinking, oh, yeah, this is what works on TikTok for me. Series, like, oh, series are amazing. People love watching them. But then I realized it's because it's in short form content. They're like 30 second clips. People watch that. But if it's like seven minutes of a series, it gets a, 
not a lot of people watch them. Uh, for me, anyway, I'm obviously doing something wrong, but yeah, it's it's uh, tactics, Wonder Kids as well. I, I don't do much Wonder Kids content on Football Manager on YouTube. I think it's been done to death, to be honest. Uh, that's like when FM24 comes out, I'll be making a lot of Wonder Kid content. Uh, I, honestly, lads, when FM24 comes out, the day it comes out, I'm taking the day off work. And I'm literally staying up the whole day. I'm getting up at like 6 o'clock in the morning. And I'm just making like loads of videos. And I'm just going to drop every single video you can think of. Like Wonder Kid, best Wonder Kids, best tactic to use in FM24, best save recommendations, best this, that, and the other. How to add uh, logos to FM20. All those videos. Just get in there before anyone else does them. That's, that's my plan. It's just to like outwork the competition. I'm just going to sim the game against Spain. Mate, go for it. But yeah, that's my plan for FM24. Is just outwork everyone. Wonder Kids are, are still safe clicks. Yeah, it's true, bro. It is true. It is true. Like, I don't know. I just don't... To be honest, like, I... I your Wonder Kid video helped me a lot. Ah, oh, fair play, bro. Fair enough. Maybe I need to make more of them. Like, what kind of Wonder Kid videos do you guys want to see? Because, like, feedback from you guys is always the way that has helped me grow in the past. Like, that's how it's helped me grow, like, is by doing videos that you guys want. And I feel like maybe that's something that, personally, I've been missing a little bit. Um, I'm just going to put Bobo up front, go, go to 4-4-2. But, yeah, Wonder Kids is always, is always a good one. And you're right, yeah, it is safe clicks, to be fair. Let's put on... Everyone else is all right. But, yeah, I mean... What what do we want to see like Wonder Kids wise? Best goalkeepers, like best positions, or is it like do you want to see a particular Wonder Kid ten years on? Do you want to see what what do you want to see, lads? Let me know. Uh because for me, I, I I don't do save many saves where I use those Wonder Kids because you know my series are always very difficult. So it's like I'm always doing like a non league to Premier League or I'm doing like Australian Builder Nation or Andorra Builder Nation or something. They've still got Bayetic, Pino, Fatty, Gavi, and Pedri in their team. Jesus Christ. Yeah, Spain have got real depth. Like, they've got real depth. And they always will do, because Barcelona's academy will just produce more depth for them as well. Just started a hometown save. Of, doesn't, oh, mate. What team are you, Liam? What what team What team are you starting with? What division are they in as well? Is it like, a, have you have to use the tier 14 database for, for that one? Nesta's knackered, so we'll put Mihailovic on. Oh, I can't say Sal's tired as well. I don't think I don't think we've got another right winger to be fair. Favali goes over the top looking for Pavel Nedved. I mean, winning four-one against. Against style, Bucharest is, is fairly straightforward, to be honest. Boskic, oh. Christache, Mihailovic, oh, Danilescu. On the ball now, Danilescu. Lakatus, Danilescu. Danilescu, surely 4-2. Good chip finish. What a finish. Maybe how to make a tactics video. Yeah, can do that, bro. That, that'd be an easy one. I'm going to make some content after this stream as well. So that's, that's quite a good one, to be fair. How to make a tactic in Football Manager 2023. 100%. It's a great suggestion, bro. Great suggestion. 4-3 as they're trying to make a last-minute comeback with an absolute stupendous goal. Oh, let's not get 4-4. That would really take the biscuit like to batter them and then to, to see what this is happening. Pinzi. Still Pinzi, Salas, turns, Almelda. Oh, it's the post. That would have won it. Back to Almelda. Oh, and it's over the bar. And I think we will just about survive in this game. League 2, I could never do 14 tiers. 100%, bro. Hey, Demoniac, good to see you, bro. I'm in the quarterfinal of Euro Europa League with Obra tired after gym and a little off the save. Fair fair play, bro, man. You went to I went to the gym today as well. Um, yeah, which was nice. It was bloody hot in England today, man. We were going to have a heat wave. I think it was like 27 degrees. Like, it's mad. And I went to the gym. No one was there at lunchtime. So that was good. Got on whatever you wanted to get on, which is what I always like to see when you go to the gym. 
I feel like now is the good time to go to the gym because people are getting fed up. Like summer's over. Like they're not going as like you know they got not got summer holidays coming up. There's no reason to get in shape. And then yeah, it gets busy again in January, doesn't it? So yeah, it's always a good time to go this time of year, in my opinion. We need to rest some players as well. Stankovic, Sergio, Pancaro, Nesta, and Negro. When I'm more in the future, I could send the safety email. 100%. Yeah, I've got those videos to make as well. Like, I've got... I've got like the save reviews. I've got to make that. I've got so much content to make this week, lads, as well. It's it's a bit of a I've got to try and fit it in somehow. Like how how am I gonna get all this time to make this content? So yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be a tricky one. Uh, so yeah, I've got about six or seven videos to make this week. So it's a busy week, lads. A busy week. But do stick with me. Wednesday, Isle of Man. I miss it, bro. We'll probably do like we'll see how we get on with Lazio this season. If we win, you know, the Cup Winners Cup and. Uh, you know, sign some good ballers. We might go back to the Isle of Man. It depends what you guys want to see. Like, we, I just wanted a break from the save, to be honest with you. Um, it was quite emotionally draining, uh, the Isle of Man save at times. So, yeah, just something, play something for a little bit of fun. And then, yeah, we'll go straight back into it. Um, it's not over. Uh, it's, it's, still, it's still on the back burner, so don't worry about that. We will get back to the Isle of Man. Don't worry, lads. And we will take them to the Premier League. So don't, don't worry too, too much about it. League two, league two is a good league, man. Like, to be honest with you, like, I, I was saying, I was thinking about this at the weekend and I've done so many, like, get teams to the Premier League. Demoniac misses the Isle of Man. Oh, mate, it is a fun save, to be honest. It is a very fun save, bro. It's a very fun save. Maybe we bring it back next week if everyone agrees. Uh, we'll bring it back next week. I can write down on DM some proposals. Go for it, bro. Go for it, man. Ariel Ortega plays for Sampdoria. Oh, what a player he is. They bought him from Valencia. Baller. Edgemundo. Antonio Conte still kicking about as well. Jesus Christ, still playing for Juventus. Antonio Conte. Hernan Crespo. What a player, lads. Hernan Crespo. Mad. As we come up against Cagliari in the league. Alan Boskic playing off the right. Because Sergio Conte Sao is absolutely knackered. I miss watching Frank in goal. <laughs> oh, no, not Frank in goal, bruv. <laughs> none of that. None of that, lads, man. None of that. None of that. Uh, pop it on hands, goalkeepers. Um, but, yeah, lads, if you want if you want Isle of Man stream to come back, we can bring it back anytime. We can bring it back anytime. We'll, we'll finish this one season with Lazio. Um, yeah, and then we'll bring it back if that's, if that's what you guys want. Liam's liking this save so far. Yeah, me too, man. I, I, I like this save as well. I feel like once we've won Serie A and we've won Champions League like, and we've won things, do you know what I mean? Then, then it's like, okay, fair enough. It's kind of done and dusted. But yeah, I, I, like, I like this save, Liam, man. I'm with, I'm with you, but if I'm outvoted, I'm outvoted. Do you know what I mean? De La Pena into Nesta. I just want to sign all the ballers. Like, I just want to get to January as quick as possible so we can just sign some quality ballers. Do you know what I mean? And then next season we can sign players like Thierry Henry uh, and them sort of players there. Like that's what that's what I'm looking forward to is getting those household names in like your Dinos, uh, your, your Pirlos, your Gattusos, your Cannavaros, your Buffons. As Muzzy goes through. Oh, Muzzy. Oh, what a goal from Roberto Muzzy. What a goal. Goalkeeper had no... I mean, he's beat three or four defenders there. Deserved, to, deserved that goal to be fair to him. But as we know, this Lazio side can score. So it doesn't matter if they get the first goal. We'll probably score another five. Especially with players like Salas and Vieri in the team. I won't worry too much. Salas. What a ball. Boskic. How has he missed? Nightbot, you need to talk to your Croatian friends, bro. You need to talk to your Croatian friends. Because he can't be missing them. He genuinely can't be missing them. Oh, Salas didn't do enough. Jonathan Zabina. Great tackle from Vieri. What a tackle. I thought it was a penalty, though. I thought it was going to be like a VAR check. Jonathan Zabina was a very good defender as well. I think he played for Juventus and Palmer at one point, if I remember rightly. Zane. Yeah, that's definitely not um, the Zane I'm thinking of. 
lads i'm just putting on my fan because it's really warm in here if you can hear it let me know if you can't that's great because then i'm not going to be massively warm so yeah let me know if you can hear the fan in the background um if you can uh let, i'll turn it off but yeah it's very very toasty in here and if i open the front door there's going to be lots of noise so i mean front door window even jesus christ paolo's born to salas salas did the right thing as bobo taps it in from one yard let's go bobo vieri with the goal as we get back into the game it's 1-1 let's go lazio come on lazio I told you we can score goals. And this is exactly what we're good at. Scoring goals. Boskic. Alan Boskic. Bobo. Go on, Bobo, lad. Go on, Bobo. Big Bobo Vieri. Playing like Pram R9. Paolo! Paolo's first goal. I can't say his last name because I'll get banned. But Paolo with the goal. Puts Lazio back in front. And we wasn't behind for long as Cagliari... Fans look shocked. They are in the bottom three, so we should we should be like tumping these, to be honest. But that goal from Muzzy at the start was unbelievable. Paolo now, Alan Boskic playing off the right, finds Della Pena. Della Pena finds Pav. What a ball into Bobo Vier. What a save! Bobo should have scored. There's no way Bobo missed should have missed that. He normally lethal. I think Salas would have scored that. Marcelo Salas. Paolo with the goal, lads. Let's go, big Paolo. Look, we're climbing the table, lads. We're actually climbing the table. We're getting closer to Champions League football, and we're getting closer to the title as well. Especially with, if we get good money in January and we buy good players, we're going to be unstoppable, lads. We're going to be unstoppable. De La Pena is going to hit one. De La Pena! Oh, what a save from Scarpi in goal. I say in January we go for Paolo Cannavaro at centre-back. And GG Buffon in goal. I think that's what we go for this summer. Buffon and Cannavaro. I think with those two, absolutely class. And if we can't get Cannavaro, we get Lilian Turan. Because we need defenders. We need a centre-back partner for, for Nesta. And I feel like with Buffon in goal and Cannavaro at centre-back, next season we can go and get, uh, say, a Pablo Aymar. But it depends. If we can sign a foreign player, then we'll get Lucio. Or that Narcisio. Because he looks very good, Narcisio. Oh, Naifi is going to get sent off here. And it's a terrible one for them. Fabrizio Matriali comes on. And it's not looking good for Cagliari. They've taken off Mohamed Callon as well. One of their talismans has come off the field. Paolo's coming off because he's absolutely knackered. Sinisha Mihailovic might have to come off as well. Here is Almelda. Bobo finish. Oh, he's in the post. Bobo Vieri hitting the post there. He's missed a couple. Will it come back to haunt us in this game? Or will we survive, lads? I, I think they're down to 10 men. We should be all right. Let's make some suds. Mihailovic comes off for Ocon. The Australian legend for all my Australian fans in, in the chat. Matthias Almelda comes off because he's shattered. We'll put Boriano on. Don't know how good he is, but... He's going to have to play. We do need a centre mid as well. So maybe we get a Gattuso or a Pirlo. Maybe we try Gattuso or Pirlo. Who would you want out of those two lads? Gattuso or Pirlo? I mean, who would you pick? They're both very different midfield players, obviously. But, I mean, do we need a bit more steel in the midfield? Or do we need a little bit more finesse? What do you reckon, lads? Let me know in the chat. Is it a, is it a Paolo? Is it a Pirlo even? Or a, or a Gattuso? Here is Della Pena. Floating. What a save. De La Pena should have had a goal from a free kick. Lads, we still haven't scored a free kick goal. It doesn't matter if we play Isla Man or Lazio. We, we never score a free kick. Gattuso would be good from Epic. He's playing for a team that's bottom as well. So I feel like that would be... We could get him fairly cheap and he'd want to come as well. In my opinion. Let's swap Kuto and Pancaro. De La Pena, Salas. Sergio Conceição now. Into Marcelo Salas. What a pass. Vieri has to finish. Round the keeper. Oh, what a block. Bobo should have had five goals in this game. Bobo Vieri missing chance after chance. is not like Bobo Vieri there. Haim could have Beckham and still couldn't score a free kick. 100%, bro. 100%. You know. We could have David Beckham taking free kicks. Nah. Still not scoring any breath. It's a bit like if I, if I signed James Ward-Prowse for the Isle of Man. We still wouldn't score a free kick. doesn't matter. We haven't scored one for so long. Nedved getting paced. You don't normally see that. But here is the Australian legend, Oaken. 
What a pass to Pancaro. That was a that was a that was a pass and a half from Ocon. As Pancaro comes down the wing, looking for Bobo, Nedved. Oh, it's over the bar, and we're still not taking our chances, lads. So many shots, 33 shots, 19 on target. Their goalkeeper must be playing a 10. We still won the game. It doesn't matter. We won. That's the main thing. We we've won a game. That's the big. That's the big main thing is that we we, we can pick up the three points. Doesn't matter how many goals we win by, whether it's eight one against Sal Antonio. Or it's, you know, 2-1 against them. So, genuinely happy with that. I mean, not, not overly happy that we missed so many chances. But, let's rest some of these boys. Three-day rest as we play. Who we got? Piancenza next. Oh, look at these players. Oh, Baros Scalotto, lads. What a player he is. Better than Pavel Nedved. Wow. One Ramon Riquelme. Lads, there's too many Argentinians I want to buy. There's too many foreign players. Ramon Riquelme and then Martin Palermo one of the best strikers I've ever seen look at these stats lads 20 strength 20 finishing 20 heading 19 penalty taking 20 flair 20 off the ball 20 jumping reach mate he's an absolute baller so many good players in here Esteban Cambiasso an 18 year old Esteban Cambiasso on loan from Real Madrid Jesus so many players Wow, Boca Juniors. I mean, if you could be in the Argentinian League, you'd be Boca Juniors, wouldn't you? Because look at the players they got. Riquelme, Palermo. Jesus Christ. There's so many good players there. So many good players. So, so many good players. Got Piancenza. How many? When's the... So we've got Piancenza, then it's the World Cup break, and then we go into January. So, lads, one more game, and then we go into the transfer. We go into the transfer market. This is going to be class, lads. Hopefully, they're going to give us budget. So, one more game against Piancenza, and then we can go out and buy some players. So, unbelievable. And, lads, if you haven't already, don't forget to like the stream. Um, it does help uh, bring in other people to the stream as well. But, yeah, we play Piancenza next. Piancenza Calcio. I don't think they exist anymore, lads. If I'm honest with you, I don't think Piancenza exists as a football club. I could be very wrong, but I, I don't think that they do, um, which is a shame. Because I, I, growing up, I always used to like playing against them. So they was my team. I always used to thump five or six nil. So, yeah, I mean, we've got five players on international duty for the World Cup, which is fine. Inter are top of the league. I mean, they've got R9, so... I mean, to be fair, our record is pretty good. Eight wins, one draw against Fiorentina. Three defeats against, well, we shouldn't have lost against Udinese. Palmer's tough. Inter's tough. But, yeah, I mean, we're doing pretty well. Since we swapped tactics, we've 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 gone on a massive run. So, Piancenza, they're still in FM23. Oh, okay, fair enough. I didn't think they was. I genuinely didn't think they was. But I'm probably thinking of someone else, mate. To be honest with you, I'm probably thinking of another team. We're going to play Fernando Couto instead of Sinisha Mihailovic because he's knackered. Just go out there and get the win, lads. Just go out there and get the win, you know. Oi. Maybe they're in Serie C. Maybe they're in Serie C. That's why I, I don't I don't recognise them, to be fair. Five wins out of five. Let's go, lads. And some mad form as well. I also managed them during my journeyman save. Oh, fair play, bro. I mean, yeah, I haven't done. I haven't really committed to a journeyman save before. Simone Inzaghi plays for Piacenza. The current Inter Milan manager, Lazio legend Simone Inzaghi. Let's go into the World Cup break in absolute form. They're in Serie C. That makes sense. I never do a Serie C save, so that does actually make a lot of sense. Here is Nesta. Inter Fernando Couto. I'm just hoping clubs don't come in for Nesta. Like, I don't mind losing Pavel Nedved. That's fine. I can take that. But I don't want to lose Nesta. I think Nesta and Vieri, I don't want to lose. Salas, if someone bids for him, fine. We'll go and buy Sevchenko. Um, or we'll go and buy, you know, Martin Palermo or someone. That's fine. I don't mind that. But I don't want to lose Nesta, lads. Stankovic is another one as well. He's very good. Stanchevic, Conce Sal... Is it a penalty? I think it hit his hand there, lads. I think it's handball. I think the defender thought he was playing basketball. 
and he's given away a penalty trying to do the hand of God Diego Maradona in the defence and it hasn't worked out for the lad and it is a penalty and I think Pav's going to step up or is it Salas that takes the penalty is it someone it's Almelda. Mateus Almelda scores went through the keeper popped on hands from the keeper there as Mateus Almelda current AEK manager scores for Lazio Straight from kickoff. 2-0. Come on, let's go. Let's get another goal, lads. Luca ready. Over the top. Paolo will deal with that well easily. Well done, Paolo, lad. Paolo just running at defence like they're not there. Melting away like butter. Matteo Semelda, Marcelo Salas. What a ball into Nedved. Oh, I tried the scissor finish. Didn't quite work out, lads. Didn't quite work out there. Here is Paolo. Into Marcelo Salas. Nesta. Fernando Couto. Almelda. Couto. Nesta. Paolo. Still going, Paolo. Marauding into Stankovic. Stankovic couldn't find Nedved's run early on. Goes by himself. Oh, goes by himself. What a goal. Finesse finish. You won't see a better goal on stream than that, lads. What a fantastic finish that was from Dejan Stankovic there. As we move up into fourth place, level on points with Palmer. And not far off the title now, lads. We keep up this one. We're winning the titles coming back to Lazio. Salas into Pavel. Favali. Into Nedved, Stankovic. Oh, Melder wasn't wasn't awake. Rizzelli, Nesta's there. Big W's from Liam in the comments. Let's go, lads. Let's go. Sergio Conte Sal. Penalty again. Salas with the finish. 23rd goal of the season from the Mercurial Chilean. What a player Marcelo Salas is, lads. I think he's our top goal scorer, to be honest. This is gonna be a cricket score. An absolute cricket score. You can see it coming already. It is going to be a massive cricket score from Lazio here. Nesta there. Sergio Conceição. Still Sergio Conceição. Still going Sergio Conceição. Favali at left back. On the under overlap. Favali pulls it back. Bobo's there. Oh, finish from Bobo Vieri. This game about to finish 15-0, mate. It's 4-0 already, 18 minutes in. We're trying to get the goal difference to go above Palmer. That's what it is, lads. We're trying to go into the uh, the break uh, above Palmer in third place. <laughs> so here is Favali. Almelda. Vieri. Deflected and Vieri gets his 21st goal of the season as Lazio running riot against little Piancenza. Bobo Vieri on a hat-trick nearly now. One more goal for Vieri gives him the hat-trick. Fernando Couto. Stankiewicz. Nesta. Paolo. Look at the space Paolo's got here. Paolo keeps going, keeps going, keeps going. Uh, gives the ball away. We can't really complain. We're 5-0 up. Like, it, it, it game over already. It's 22 minutes in. Couto. It's Salas. Bobo. Paolo. Salas doesn't miss. Salas makes it six. And Lazio fans are singing cheerio, cheerio, cheerio as Piancenza fans. Oh, free kick, lads. We could score one with Pavel. Come on. Come on, Pav. Pavel. Oh, we still missed. Why am I getting excited about free kicks? We never scored them. Pavel Nedved is a good three kick taker. And we still never score them. Like We just can't score free kicks, lads. We just genuinely can't score free kicks. Nedved's ball in. Back post Bobo. Oh, I thought there was going to be another penalty there. Simone Inzaghi. He's thinking to himself, Jesus Christ, this Lazio side are very good. Piancenza get battered everywhere they go. <laughs> they sure do, mate. They sure do. Here is Favali. Into Pavel. Pavel gets tackled. Lamachi. Simone Inzaghi. When was the last time we scored a free kick? Mate, it was four seasons ago in the Isle of Man, and we haven't scored one in this season. So, in real life, that's probably about two months. I reckon it's about two solid months we haven't done it. Salas! Oh, Salas! K 
keeper didn't even dive. <laughs> keeper didn't dive. Just turned shot from Salas. Already a hat trick. 7 0. Not even 40 minutes into the game. Mate, I think it was about two months ago is the last time we scored a hat trick. Palmer must have some big goal difference, boy. Jesus Christ. We scored seven goals in this game and still. Oh, maybe it goes on head to head. It must go on head to head in Italy. It can't be goal difference. I just scored one. Let's go, Epic, man. At least someone scored one. Bobo Vieri. Into Pavel Nedved. Pavel Nedved now. Salas. Oh, he did miss one this time. Salas did miss one this time. Salas and Vieri, man. Jesus Christ. These guys are just goal machines. Absolute goal machines. Sergio Conte Sal now. Whips one in. Inzaghi with the clearance. It's cleared and it's Paolo now. Nesta. Almelda. Salas. Still going, Salas. Still going. He's got three men on him. Oh, I thought he was gonna I thought there was gonna be a penalty there. And I was just gonna change it to the goalkeeper. But I don't even think on my Western Sydney Wanderers save I've scored a free kick. I, I even in my Australia save I don't think I've scored a free kick as well. It's got it's obviously just doesn't want me to score free kicks to be honest. Here is Almelda. Almelda. Ah, oh, he's not going to score from there. They're actually putting their bodies on the line now, Piacenza. They've had a whooping in the dressing room. Their manager's just gone mad. He's thrown the pasta at him. It's been it's been an absolute madness in the Piacenza dressing room. Hey, Harry FM. Good to see you, bro, man. How are you? And it is a penalty. Let's change it quick, lads. Change it quick. Set pieces. Where where is it? Penalties. We're going to get the GK to take the penalty. Where's the GK? Position. Goalkeeper takes the penalty. Remove everyone else. Just the goalkeeper. Oh, is Bobo Vieri going to take the penalty? If he is, we'll do a quick change. We'll do a quick change so the goalkeeper can take it. Sorry, Bobo. I know you're on a hat trick, but you know. The GK has got to take it. Red card as well. Nah, ref. You didn't need to do that. They're already losing 7-0, bruv. You don't, you don't need to... Oh. The goalkeeper's on penalties, Vieri, man. Why are you doing that, bro? Don't need to do that. It's 8-0. Right, lads. That's it. Vieri's coming off. We're going to put the sub-goalkeeper on. And we're going to chuck Luca up front. We'll put Boskic on for Salas. We'll put Pancaro. We'll put Ocon on for Nesta. Right, that's it. The goalkeeper's going up front, lads. P and Chen manager about to throw the bottle. Mate, we put the goalkeeper up front. It's fine. If the goalkeeper scores, it should be amazing. That's an L from Liam for Vieri. That's why we took him off. We have words of him. But 8-0, the big Ws. Yeah, we put the keeper up front as well. Can the keeper get a goal, lads? What do we reckon? I reckon the keeper's going to get a goal. Stankovic, Almelda. Almelda! Oh, it's over the bar. I really want the GK to score. We'll go attacking as well. We'll give the goalkeeper the best opportunity of scoring a goal. Favali. Into Nedved. What logo packs do you use? Oh, mate, I just used a logo pack from um, from FM Scout, I think it was. Or was it FM in... Or Sort It Out SI? It might be Sort It Out SI. Boskic. Oh, yeah, it's a logo pack from Sort It Out SI, mate. Um... Let me just Google it quick, and I'll I'll, send, I'll drop you the link in the in the chat, mate. Just give me one second. I'll uh, I'll Google it. It's a it's a big logo pack. FM logo packs. As Pancaro, let, let oh no, what am I doing? FM logo packs. Here we go. FM logo packs. Oh, my keyboard's terrible. Yeah, it's this one, mate. It's uh, it's 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 in here. It's one of the ones that I use is in here. There you go, bro. That's where I that's where I've got it from. Um, it was one of the ones in. I can't remember which one. It's like a mega logo pack or something. I don't know why my game's freezing every so often. Have you got um, have you got kits installed, mate? Because kits can cause issues with um, with with saves. We had kits installed on our Isle of Man streams, and it was really, honestly and truly. It was really like, it made the game so slow. And I, I don't know why that was happening. And then we took kits off and it was fine. Logos are fine. Um, it depends how many leagues you've got loaded as well, Harry, bro. If you've got loads of leagues loaded up as well, that can also 
slow down your performance as well. Yeah, lads, it wasn't goal difference. It's definitely head-to-head. -head. Uh, because we've got 31 plus goal difference. Second best goal difference in the league. We're only eight points behind Inter Milan now, which is a, a dub because we were looking down and out at one point. Um, and let's hope we go into January. Have we got our transfer budget? Not yet. No transfer budgets as of yet. But yeah, hopefully when that transfer budget comes in, we're, we're going to absolutely smash out some players. Like installments, all that. So we can get players like Fabio Cannavaro and then Mandir. Like, be absolutely class to get Cannavaro in this team. Buffon as well. If we can get GG Buffon. Qatar World Cup's happening in 1998. Don't worry about it, lads. It happens. Was Qatar even a country in 1998? Must have been. Got some friendlies lined up as well. Uh, but yeah. The fun begins tonight, lads, with the signing of players. Get your suggestions ready. I know you all were throwing them in at the start of the stream. But yeah, now is the time to actually... We can actually action them as well, which is uh, which is very nice. It's a very good thing to do. I'm very excited to get these players in now. We can sign overseas players. Try and think of some centre backs, lads. Try and try and think of some centre backs. Like players like Lucio would be good. Obviously Cannavaro, but I don't think they'd be interested. Uh, yeah, Lu Lucio, this one. He's a baller. We need to get this lad in for four million. Uh, if we can sign foreign players, that is. If we can't, then obviously we won't get Lucio, but. No worries, Harry, bro, man. Happy to help anytime, bro. Got to sign Dino. 100% we got to sign Dino. But first, we need a centre-back. Um, Buffon for 15 bags. We've got to buy a Buffon for 15 bags. Sorry, lads. Buffon's number one target. Jao Pinto. Look at him. Oh, Jao Pinto. Damn, son. He's good. Henrik Larsson for 6 million. Shevchenko for 9. Chiesa's there. Alan Shearer. No, that's too much money for Alan Shearer, bro. Darren Eady, Olaf Christensen, Michael Bridges, Kieran Dyer, Nuno Gomes, Benny McCarthy, Sigrid Roosevelt. Never heard of him, but he's a very good striker. If we need a cheap striker. Benny McCarthy, Mark Vinduka. What a player, boy. Patrick Berger, Michael Moles. Sol Campbell. No, bro, we're not signing Sol Campbell, mate. If he comes on a free, we'll sign Sol Campbell, innit? Like, I'll put my, my Tottenham biases aside. Sol Campbell was a quality defender back in the day. But we ain't signing no 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 Judas bruv in this team, man. No Judas. Less of that. Less of that epic, bro. Less of that, man. No, no, no Judas. No Judas in this stream, man. No Judas. Ongoing update. Jean Mikoud. Plays left midfield. Victor Ikeba, what a player he was. Sidney Govu. Mikel Langeru. Fabrizio Ravanelli. Philippe Christian Val. Centre back. Yeah, he's a good centre back, Philippe Christian Val back in the day. Some decent players in France. Not the best, but, you know, if you need a couple of cheap ones, France might be the place. I'm just waiting for the transfer budget to get updated. Surely we've got to get an updated transfer budget. Is it just me or does it seem like back in the days we had a lot of world stars? Uh, mate, it might be. Do you know what? It is true, but do you reckon it's because we're reminiscing? Like, do you reckon it's like, oh, yeah, like they were quality players and actually they was probably not as good as what we've got now? Like, I don't know. I was thinking about this the other day and... I was saying to myself, like, were they actually that good? Or was it me just, like, is it just me going, oh, my God, it's this player. Oh, my God, it's that player. Um, but I do feel like we had players back in the day that were actually, like, world class. Like, you look at the players here. Like, Gigi Buffon, best goalkeeper of all time, debatably. Like, every second name is like, wow, what a player he was. Yeah, exactly. It's true. Like, it is true, mate. It is, honestly, it is true. Sirio de Ferdinand as well like what a quality defender he was it's insane William Gallas from Marseille 21 year old William Gallas what a player Gallas was we'll be doing the same thing in future with players like Harry Maguire <laughs> mate let's not let's not go that far but I think they were good yeah they were they were and the thing is it's the nostalgia as well I think nostalgia gives them a couple of extra points as well uh, nostalgia is like do you know what I mean? It's like, oh, yeah, knocked out, like, what a player he was. Like, we, I don't think we'll be saying that about players like Maguire, but we might be saying, like, like, players like that about, like, I don't know. I'm trying to think of an example. Um, who can I think of? Thiago Silva would be one. Uh, obviously, he's a great player, so that's not the best example. Junior, left back. What a baller, bruv. Junior at left back. What a player. Campaign steps up for Vieri to win to win the Ballon d'Or. 
Harry Kane will be one of those players, 100%. We might look back at him as being Tottenham's best player. And I, to be honest with you, I, I don't like him that much either. So, I mean, I, I've always said I'd, he's been a very good player for Tottenham, but his ego is too much. And I could look back and go, wow, we never had another striker like Harry Kane in 10 years' time. I could be telling my children we had Harry Kane at Tottenham and they wouldn't believe me. Do you know what I mean? It's one of those ones. Haaland will be one as well. Salah, 100%. Some great shouts in there from NG, man. Some great shouts. There'll be players as well that you forget about. That you actually forget about. like, And you go, oh my God, what a player he was. Like, you, we'll, get, we'll get a 2023 database in 10 years' time from the mad scientist. And it'll be like, oh my God, what a player Haaland is. Or Philip Lahm. What a player. Is, is, Lahm's got to be on this, isn't he? He's, he's definitely he's, he's old enough. He's not on it. No, he's not. Bayern Munich, Oliver Kahn. Obviously, Oliver Kahn's a great goalkeeper. Is Philip Lahm, is it too early for Philip Lahm? I think it might just be slightly too early for Philip Lahm. Mehmet Scholl was a good player. What a player he was. Still freezing. Bro, uh, have you updated your um, drivers? Manuel Neuer. Yep, will be another one. 100%. Harry, bro, make sure you up update your graphics drivers. Um, yeah, you can, you can download them from like... There'll be a prompt when you uh, start a football manager. And that could be the reason as well. If it keeps freezing... It's either because... How, but how many leagues you got loaded, bro? What's your setup? Let us know your setup because it might be that, mate. Like, if you're trying to load 450,000 players, it's, it's, it's a bit like, you know, you're going to need, like, a unbelievably strong computer for that. Yeah, way too early for Larm. Larm was more like 2006. Like, 2005, 2006. At the World Cup in Germany. It's a little bit too early for him. Sergio can't say, Sal, what a baller. His son's a good baller as well, you know. His son's a decent baller, you know. Sergio Conte Sal's son. It's a good baller, man. Francisco Conte Sal. On my Andorra save, he used to come off the bench and just bad goals. I got him on a free, he used to come off the bench, bad goals. I was like, sweet. But yeah, Neuer could be another one. Who else? Thomas Muller. Top five leagues and 130k players. There's, there's your issue, mate. There's your issue. It's the 130k players, bro. Top five leagues will be fine because that normally comes out about 40,000, 40, 45,000. But the 150k players is the one, man. You gotta cut it down, bro. You gotta cut it down. You don't need that many players. That's a hell of players, man. So yeah, try and cut that down if you can, mate. That's why it'll be freezing. Like your processing power isn't good enough for 100, 130k players, man. It must be working on like one star or something, bro. Yeah, that's too much, mate. That's far too much. You don't, you don't need, you don't need that level of, of players. Like forty, fifty thousand is good. Sixty thousand, if you're feeling like bold. But yeah, if it's if it's running on one star, it's it's not gonna work, man. It's not gonna work. GG Buffon. We've got to sign GG Buffon, man. Have we got money yet? Still no transfer funds. Come on, Lazio, man. We've got sixty million in the bank. I want to spend some peas, bruv. See me, I wanna I wanna spend money, man. These men not allowing me to spend money. Terrible. Terrible from the Lazio board. Half a star. There's the issue, bro. That we've just solved it for you, man. We've just solved it for you. Half a star, that's it. You, you can't you can't play football manager on half a star, bro. You need to at least minimum, I would say the minimum to play football manager on. In my opinion, is three star to stop any lag issues, to stop any like crashing, anything like that. Anything below three star, it gets a bit peak. Like I try and keep my saves above four or four star. Like it keeps it smooth running, like proper smooth running. So yeah, I mean, mate, it's a shame, but you're gonna have to start that save again, bro. And just like take off, I like take off all the players. You don't need them. But yeah, hopefully that helps you, man. Hopefully that helps. 62 million in the bank. We're getting profit all the time. Let's go, lads. This is what we want to see. Got to have some help with my database up. Yeah, sure, bro. Just honestly, um, just clear out all the options you've got on it already. And then load up the, the leagues that you want. Like Load up whatever leagues that you want to load up.
another video suggestion. Yeah, 100%. That could be another video suggestion. I mean, I could. Do you want me to save this now and I'll show you? Uh, to be honest, we, we could do it. We can do it at the end of the stream, Harry, bro. I'll do it at the end of the stream. I think 50k players is enough from Liam, 100%. At the end of the stream, bro. So just around eight o'clock. Uh, stay around, and I'll show you. Um, I'll show you like how I set up my saves. Um, and then yeah, I'll I'll make a setting up a save video um, as well for a future YouTube video too. But yeah, if you stay around to the end of the stream, I'll I'll show you. I'll give you some tips on that uh, before we before we log off for the night. So. Yeah, no worries, man. No worries. We're always helping people on here, man. We're always helping. Like, I'll, I'll help anyone as much as I can at any time. Because I know, I know what it's like, man. When you, when you want help and you want to set something up, like, and you can't figure out how to do it, it is frustrating. Like, I'll go through it as well, mate. Um, but yeah, like I said, stick around to the end of the stream and yeah, we'll, we'll, I'll show you at the end. Um, it, obviously, it will depend on your computer's capabilities as well. So, like, for me, I can load the top five leagues and, like, a large database, and it's, you know, four and a half star, five star, it's fine. Mate, Epic Plays, no worries, bro, man. No worries. I know it's about six o'clock in the morning in Australia, bro, so no need no need to apologize, mate. No need to apologize at all, man. Have a, have a, good, have a good night, Epic Plays, bro, and uh, thanks for joining in as well. And, yeah, keep an eye out tomorrow, bro. 4 p.m. UK, 4.30 p.m. UK time tomorrow. Next episode of Australia is dropping, man. It's a quality episode. It's a quality episode. So, yeah, keep an eye out for that one. Obviously, you get pinged in the Discord. So, yeah, there we go. It's 2 a.m. Yeah, I know, bro. I know, I know it's not like 6 o'clock in the morning, but I appreciate you coming, man. Honestly, the commitment from Epic is unbelievable. It's epic. The commitment from Epic is epic. And obviously, you know, I appreciate it. Could I ask you how much your PC costs? Yeah, man, 100%. Um, so the laptop that I use, it's a Acer Nitro gaming laptop. No worries, Epic, man. You have a good evening, man. Go to bed. Uh, but yeah, the PC, I bought it now about three years ago. Yeah, it'd be three years this Christmas. It cost me about £650. Uh, I got it in a sale from PC World. Uh, yeah, the, the the stats on it are fairly good. Um, I can play any game. Like, I can play FIFA 23. Can play like any any game, like PS5 games on it, etc. Like graphics cards really strong. RAM's really strong. Um, but yeah, I bought a gaming laptop to play Football Manager. Doesn't make any sense because you don't need a gaming laptop to play Football Manager. But yeah, that's how much it costs. About 650. I think it should have been about 800 pounds, but there was a sale on. Um, so yeah. And the thing is, like, if you buy a, a decent gaming laptop, they'll last you four or five years, and you can always drop out the components as well. Like, if you buy an actual PC, you can always switch out the components and upgrade it to a certain extent, uh, rather than buy a new PC in a few years' time. So, I bought a laptop because I like to play Football Manager. Obviously, you know, I do the streaming and whatever else, but I, I like to um, I like to play downstairs on the sofa whilst I'm watching the football as well. Like, uh, I do saves that you guys don't see. Um, so I do saves as well, like that, that are not on TikTok, not on YouTube. Like they're just my saves when I'm watching like feet, like watching football, watching actual football and stuff like that. So I like to have the mobility. Like I like, I don't like to stay in the same room and just sit there and play football manager in, in the same place at the same time. Plus, it would, I mean, it, yeah, it's just a bit difficult with a tower PC. But isn't? I mean, it depends what your setup, what what kind of setup you like. And what your funds are like as well. Um, yeah, how old is your PC, Harry, bro? Is it is it quite an old one? Oh, excellent youth intake, lads. Five star, we're going to get a GK and a wing back. Let's go, man. GK and a wing back. Is there, have we got any transfer budget yet? Oh, lads, we've got 9 mil. We've got 9 million, lads. Who do we go for? We just bumped it down to five. What's your favourite thing about Football Manager? My Honestly, my favourite thing about Football Manager is that you can, you can take your local league team and win the Champions League and you can feel like you've achieved something whilst doing it as well. It's not like... Oof. Oof. Thomas Balaam. 
Uh, like you can feel like you've actually achieved something. Whereas like on FIFA, and this is no offense to FIFA, but like you can you if you're good at FIFA, you can take any team anywhere. Whereas Football Manager, obviously, if you're good at Football Manager, you can take any team anywhere as well. But it just feels like more of an achievement when you when you when you do it on Football Manager. In my that's my opinion. Now, lads, do we try and sign Walter Samuel? Or do we try and sign Narcissia? Can we sign these boys? We can. There's no restrictions as well. All right, we'll give you 700k now. And then installments, we'll give you 2.5. Standard. So we're going to sign two two centre-backs, it looks like there. Mario Yapriz was a good centre-back back in the day. I'm excited for that. That, that Dutch guy looks good. We need a CM as well. Should we try and get Booth on? Let's try and get Booth on as well. Marcos, what a goalkeeper he was for Brazil as well. He was a quality GK. My PC cost about £700. I have an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 16 gig. Is that good? And I got it in a year ago. Yeah, mate, that is good. That I mean, depends on what the processor is as well. But, mate, you'll be fine for a good few years with that, especially with FM. You won't need anything massive. GG Booth on. We're going to try a cheeky GG. I know they want 15 million now, yeah, but we ain't got the 15 bags now, so we're going to have to do it in installments. 7 million now. Not 7 million now. We'll give you 4 million now and 40 million in installments. Sweet, we're going to get GG. Move on. Everyone remember to like the live. Thanks, Liam, bro, man. I appreciate that a lot, man. I appreciate that a lot. Star player, 100%, bro. 82 grand a week. I'm paying that for GG, move on. I don't care, bruv. Man's paying that. It's GG, move on. GG Buffon. We've offered the contract to GG. 14k. What do they want? Oh, do you want 100k? Like, we'll give you 100k, bro. He's a four-star centre-back. Well, I'll give you 100k. How about 165k? Bang. Gatardi. Mate, you can go, bro. Oh, you want to go out on loan? Okay, fair enough. Off you go then, mate. Bye-bye. Offer the clubs on loan. Goodbye. They want 7 million for Narcisio. He's a good defender. But we've got to remember, we're trying to get GG Booth on in as well. So we've got to keep these uh, installments low. W signing, hope we get Booth on. 100%, bro. And we get that Danish centre back in as well. Who's only like... If we get him up for 100k, mate, what a signing he is for 100k. And then... Uh, we're trying to get some centre mids in as well. I mean, we could go for Van der Sar if we don't get, um, if we don't get GG Booth on. Centre mids-wise, Rivaldo 30. Yeah, we haven't got the 36 for Rivaldo. We've not got that kind of money. Yeah, we've not got the big money for these players, but Michael Balak's on there at Kaiserslautern. Could be it could be an option, Michael Balak. Carsten Ramelo, decent. It's just a lot of money for these players. That's the problem. We've got to find some cheap ones, lads. Dino, 2.4 million for Dino. If we've got money left over after Buffon and the defenders, we're getting Dino. We'll get Dino if we've got the money, lads. But I think GG Buffon would be absolutely class. Santos want more time. 205k. An improved offer. Come on, man. 200k is worth 14k, bruv. <sighs> Offers made for Narcisio. Juventus and Palmer have made an option. 500k, man. Come on. I think that's good. I'm not. I'm not good with PC. Yeah, man, that is good. That is that is good. Hundred percent, mate. It is good. They want. Okay, yeah, we'll we'll accept that for Narcisio. We're trying to get Narcisio in. We we need. We probably need him. No, we're not going to give you a, a pay rise, mate. Ninety-four grand a week. Oh, sweet lord, that's a lot of money. Eighty-three grand a week. Can we get him on the combined goals? See, that's the thing about this database. And KC said this as well. Like, when you're buying players, it's literally like. You're buying them and it's like today's wages. Because eight, 80 grand a week back then, man, is like some mad amount of money, you know. Like that's like big ball of money. That's like more than like Prime R9 was on. So, yeah, it's a bit, a bit of a strange one. Yeah, it, uh, yeah, I agree with Liam. That probably does run most most games, to be fair. It, it's just because you've got too many players added in, mate. That's that's all it is. And you're on one star. That That's literally all it is. Like... I don't football manager isn't I mean there's not many PCs out there that can run every single league, do you know what I mean? Let's give them an installment as well. One installment of a million. 
I don't want to pay too much for him, but we do need a centre back. We we need one, and he's cheap. So, I mean, Buffon could take our entire budget, but Buffon's worth it. Buffon's definitely worth it. Ah, oh, Shilave, three point two million. That's the goalkeeper that takes free kicks. The Paraguayan goalkeeper that takes free kicks. Very good player as well. But Buffon's the one that I want. Like, he's 20 year old, he's Italian. Want more time to see. Oh my god, these guys, man. Mate, we're offering money. Like, why are they not accepting our money? Like, our money's good. Do you know what I mean? Man's worth 15k, bruv. Come on. What do I want? 300k and 1.5. Uh, three instalments then. Uh, we'll take that. We need him. He's cheap. Next transfer window. Win a domestic cup. We can't promise we'll win anything. Make an offer, mate. 72. No yearly wage. Clean sheet bonus. There we go. Let's see if we can get Thomas Balaam in. And then we'll sell Fernando Couto. Just because we don't need him. No one's bidding for Nesta, which is good. I don't think we'll probably... We might not sign any of these players, you know. Like, genuinely, we might not sign anyone. They might all go somewhere else and we'll have to pick our next... Uh, Marcelo Gallardo, look at him. Argentina, are, they've got some ballers and a half. They want 21k for Antilio Lombardo. Incredibly interested in speaking to Sassuolo. Okay, off you go then. We got Buffon, lads. We got Buffon. <laughs> yes, we got GG Boofs. <laughs> Come on, lads. Buffon. Yes. Someone clip that and send it in a Discord, lads. We've got GG Buffon. GG Buffon. Let's go, man. That's a signing and a half, man. GG Buffon. Non-negotiable. You don't want to go to West Brom, bruv. I can't believe we just signed Buffon. I don't think we've got any transfer budget left now. No, we ain't. Jesus. All right, we have to sell some players, lads. We might have to sell some players. Like, genuinely might have to sell some players. We don't really have many players to sell, though, to be honest. We don't want to sell Kuto because... I mean, Balaam's better than him, but... If we don't get Balaam in... So, Buffon and Balaam, I think, are the sign-ins, to be honest. I don't, we haven't got the money for Narciso. Uh, which is a shame, because he looks absolutely class as well. We'll have to go again next transfer window. But Buffon, five-star goalkeeper in goal. Nah, bruv. If you come selling Nesta, are you man mad, bruv? You man are moving mad if you think I'm selling Nesta. No chance. Got no chance, such as what you've got. Dum, 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 dum. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I'm singing the Vince McMahon song at you, bruv. No chance. No chance in the world am I selling Alejandro Nesta. There is no hope in hell that I'm selling Alejandro Nesta. It's not happening. It's genuinely, it's not happening. Like, it's, it's not, it's, it's not going to happen. Buffon joins Lazio. That signing right there could win us the title, in my opinion. Nesta draws interest from Juventus. Narciso went to Juventus. So that's okay. That that solves a problem for us that we didn't... We couldn't really afford him anyway. Uh, we do need to strengthen the back line, but Buffon was the, was the priority signing. And then, if we want this Danish centre-back in as well, that'd be absolutely classy if we get the Danish centre-back in. Especially how cheap he is as well. Thomas Balaam... Due to expire in six months' time. So we could have got him on a free in six months. I'd rather have him now, though. I'd rather pay the money and have him now. Mm. Much rather have the money and, you know, have Buffon. Can't believe we've signed GG Buffon. What a signing, lads. GG Buffon. GG Buffon. The things you love to see... Buffon's going to make his debut against Samp. And then we sell, we'll sell our goalkeeper uh, as well, because then we can dr drum up some money. How good is our goalkeeper? How, who wants him? He's, only, he's worth 4.8 million. He's not bad. Chakinetti's young goalkeeper. But yeah, I think we sold a GK. 
Have you seen the football ground with a train track? I think it's in Slovakia. Yeah, mate, I've seen that one. I've seen it on TikTok quite a lot, to be honest. Um, it's a, it looks like a nice ground. I'm not going to lie. It looks like a really nice ground. It's mad that a train goes through it. I imagine, like, you know, you're running down the wing and then all of a sudden the train's there. And you're like, oh, yes, we got Balaam as well. Come on. We've got a new centre-half and a goalkeeper, lads, in this window. I think that's absolutely class. That's a quality window to get, to get an improved centre-half and to get a great goalkeeper in as well. Lads, that's unbelievable. What a window. And the window is not even open yet, and we've had a great window. GG Buffon. Come on, GG Buffon. <laughs> Buffon and Balaam coming against Samp. That's going to be Clark. They're going to do absolute bits for us. John Arnorisa at Monaco. Didn't realise he played for Monaco. Okay then. Thomas Balaam, leading Serie A defender as well. You'd think the board would give us more money, you know. That like, seems like there's 64 million in the bank. Like, we want to spend that 64 million and buy players. Do you know what I mean? Like, we just want to rent, we want like 30 mil. Like, we want 30 mil to sign players. We'd, we'd sign in hella players if we got 30 mil. Balaam and Buffon straight in. They're going to be straight in the team as well. Extra transfer funds. 51 million, lads. Yes, come on. 51 million. Boys, we got 51 million to spend. Who do we buy, lads? Come on, in the comments. We've got unlimited funds, basically. Who are we buying? With unlimited funds, who are we going for? Rui Costa? We do need a centre midfield player, to be fair. I think we should get a centre midfield player. Before we get too excited, we get a new centre mid in. Who do we want, though? Who, who could we get? Jamie Redknapp is worth 65 million. What? I'm not buying Jamie Redknapp. Behave yourself. 65 million. Hugo Leal. I don't remember him, to be honest. He looks fairly decent. Any recommendations from anyone in the chat would be great. Ah, oh, Big Fat Frank. Good sign, Fat Frank Lampard. Johan Vogel at Grasshoppers. It's more of a holding midfield player. Lads, do we try and get Pirlo in? Michael Balax there. Paul Ince. They're saying Rui Costa. Let's just try and get Rui Costa. Why not? Like, why, why are we not trying to get Rui Costa? I say we've 7 million now. Installments on Rue Costa. 10 bags. They want 55. Yes, mate. I've got a Discord. If someone could... Ah, oh, we haven't got any of the mods in here. But yeah, if you... um, It's on my YouTube channel, mate. If you... The link's there. Uh, so... Yeah, you should, you should, you should see it there. Um, so yeah, we do have a Discord. 100%. Ah, oh, Roberto Di Matteo. George Boateng. Rivaldo. Rivaldo's 36 million buyout clause. Do we go Chitnar? Because he's a foreign player, isn't it? We need EU nationals, I think. Jackanada. Rincon. Flavio Conte. Alberto Saleda. Xavi's there. 3.2 million for Xavi. Ooh. His stats are terrible, though. You yeah, know, he will get good in the future. Ronaldinho. Oh, mate. Rui Costa. What a player we could get. Rui Costa. Barry Ferguson at Rangers. He was actually a decent player, to be fair. Old Baz. Good old Baz from Scotland. Errol Borkovic. He was a good player at West Ham as well. Zay Elias. Jody Morris. Alberto Casades. David Hopkin. Maybe we try and get a right back as well. We do need centre mids, but if we can increase the defence, that would be class. Lilian Turam. Oh, they want 150 million. Okay. No 150 million. We don't have no 150 million for Lilian Turan. Michel Salgado. Before he went to Real Madrid. Willy Sagnall. Belay. Olaf Melberg. Jackie McNamara at Celtic. He was a good player. What about right wingers? Because Conte Sal is not the best. Lars Ricken. Ed Milson from Sport in Lisbon. Ed Milson. Oh, he looks really good. Posted the link in the chat. Oh, thanks, NG, bro. Appreciate that, man. Fanini George. Oh, Fanini George. What a player. 
lads, any any recommendations for players? Because we've got a huge amount of money. So any recommendations you guys have, we could we could probably get them, if that makes sense. Marcelo Delgado. But the thing is, if they're if they're from overseas, I don't think we can sign them. Oh, mate, Rui Costa would be unbelievable. Lars Ricken. Jody Morris, worst manager in history. Oh, mate, he's rubbed it absolute awful, isn't he? Paulo Santos. Carsten Ramelo. Carsten Ramelo, I remember him. Patrick Berger, Mustafa Hadji. Mostavoy. Barry Ferguson could be an interesting one, you know. Barry Ferguson, Stefano Fiore at Parma. Plays off the right. Andre Herzog, Alberto Salades. Try to get... Oh, mate, it's, let me just make you a mod. One second, NG, bro. I'll make you a mod. Just give me one second. I will make you a, a modifier. Give me one second, mate. Give me one second. Rio Ferdinand. Add as a moderator. Standard moderator. There you go, bro. You should be able to post the link now, mate. You should be able to post the link. It's because you wasn't a mod, mate. I've just made you a mod. There's no responsibilities, but... Uh, yeah, you, you can be... You can be a mod now. Paul Gascoigne at Middlesbrough. Mate, what a baller. He used to play for Lazio as well. Uh, <laughs> don't think they'd want him back in real life, to be honest with you. Um, Batistute is only 18 million... Fernando Torres. Oh, what a player. I want to see if we can put a deal together for Rivaldo, lads. I really want to see if we can put a, together a deal for Rivaldo. Like, it's Rivaldo. Like, why, why wouldn't we want Rivaldo? What do they want? 42 million. 15 now, 20 then, 70 after. Okay. Bang, 42 million straight in for Rivaldo. Let's go. Can you show Zidane wonder how he looks yes Yanis good to see you bro man we can show you Zizu no problems man Zidazine Zidane Zidazine Zidane is absolutely stacked he's an unbelievable baller at Juventus he look at the stats like dribbling first touch passing technique vision strength balance composure decisions mate he's just unbelievable man he's unbelievable Sorin Juan Pablo Sorin we do need a left back See if we can get... He's, he's very good. We'll just pay the eight. What else could we get? Let's have a look at cams. The Salas isn't a cam. Oh, Rivaldo can play cam as well. Jao Pinto. Oh, do we try and get Jao Pinto? What a player Jao Pinto is, man. Oh, Lacto Zahajevic. Good player as well. So good they named him twice. JJ Okocha. Ooh, JJ Okocha, look at that baller, bruv. But he's got a free work rate. Nah, you can't play in my team, bruv. Not with free work rate. Nah, not happening. Make an offer for Jao Pinto as well. 7 million now. Free installments. 10 million. Try and lowball them. Can you check Mark Hughes as well? Yeah, Mark Hughes, no worries. He might still be around. He might not. Mark Hughes is at Southampton, 35-year-old in this save. He's got some good stats. Heading's good. Target forward's got good strength, good determination. Well, he's got a very aggressive player. Jesus Christ. Is there anyone we can nick from, say, Arsenal as well? Like, who, who could we nick from the top of the league? Who could we nick from Arsenal? Like a Frederick Lundberg. Could we nick Lundberg? What a player if we get Freddie Lundberg in. Big Pat Vieira, 35 million. We, we can afford him. Emmanuel Petit, can't afford him, he's absolutely stacked. Dennis Burkamp, 30 million. Do we go for the Mercurial Dutchman? Do we go for the Mercurial Dutchman in Dennis Burkamp? I don't know if he'd want to come to us, to be fair. No worries, bro. It, don't worry, there's no extra responsibilities, man. There's no extra responsibilities, just so you can post links in the, in the chat, man. It's literally so you can post links. Otherwise, you can't post any links. And I know you're trying to post a Discord as well, so. Oh, man, if we can get Rivaldo. Imagine we get Rivaldo. 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 Oh, Rivaldo. Yeah, you can be penny taker, bruv. 100% fam. 
We can take pennies. No worries, man. Take the pennies. 105. All right, look. We'll get him on bonuses. We'll get him on bonuses. Big, big time bonuses here, bruv. Sell on percentage. You can have 25% as well. Like, we just we just want Rivaldo at our football club, man. We just want Rivaldo. Winning the Coppa Italia, you can have a million pounds as well. Boom, we're going to get Rivaldo. He's on big money, but it doesn't matter. Worked way around it. Wrote the three dots before the link, and it went through. I didn't see it. I can't see it in the chat, bro. I, just, I can't see the link in the chat. So, I mean, you, you should be able to... Uh, you, sh you should... I mean, yeah. I don't know why I can't see it, but... I might have the Discord link anyway. Give me a second. 105 a week is crazy. It is, mate, but it's Rivaldo. I don't know how many times I have to say it. It's Rivaldo. Rivaldo. Like, imagine we sign Rivaldo. No, I can't. I can't even imagine that we sign Rivaldo, man. I genuinely... Oh, we've got Booth on. Lads, we've got GG Booth on. GG Booth on. What about Vidic? Oh, Vidic, maybe. Maybe Vidic is playing. Vidic. Nemanja Vidic, he is playing. He's 17 at this time. Cremonese won Ocon. Oh, Sorin. Man United made £9 million bid for Sorin. Yeah, but let's get rid of Ocon. That's fine. Juventus have bid it for Rivaldo. Yeah, we'll, we'll take that for Sorin. He's a good left back. Transfers, Paul Ocon. Yep, yeah, cool. In 1998, yeah, mate. In 1998, that is like literally the biggest amount of money ever. If we don't get Rivaldo, we'll get Jao Pinto. If we can't get Ronaldo, we'll get Jao Pinto. No, we're not going to win Serie A. We're not going to do that. We're not going to do that. And we're not going to do that. He will go to Man United anyway, so it doesn't matter what we offer him. He's going to Man United. Like, Man United, in this, in this database... They they've got they've got the pool, if you know what I mean. Like they've they've got the the star talent. Like they, they can they can quite easily get anyone. Like they, they can literally pick up anyone and buy them. Like it's Man United. Should we buy Dino? He's only two million. Like I feel like we could get Ronaldinho in. That would be absolute class. We've probably got enough for Rivaldo and Ronaldinho. But if we don't get Rivaldo, we'll get... Shall we? Let's have a look at Pirlo. Pirlo might be good for us. Pirlo or Gattuso. Kaká. What a signing, lad. What a signing. Is it too early for Kaká? It's not. He's only 16, though. So he's not quite ready yet. He's not ready yet. But what a signing, mate. Quality. Quality suggestions. Let's try a Pirlo. Pirlo. How good's Pirlo? And he's gone to Inter. Oh, he, Inter bought him. Fair enough. Inter just bought Pirlo. What about Gattuso? Gattu. He's still at Sal Antonio. He's not that good, Gattuso. Sadly. Damn. Eto, Joe Cole, Ronaldinho. Oh, mate. Joe Cole, Ronaldinho. <coughs> Zlatan. 100%, bro, 100%. Chelsea won. Chelsea won. Blah, about Lone Nesta. Are you done, blood? Are you, man, moving mad, bruv? About Lone Nesta. 48 million for Rui Costa. Oh, it's Rui Costa, though. Rui Costa's very good. I don't know if you want to pay big, big money for Costa, but... Because we're getting Rivaldo for less. We get Rivaldo. Yeah, I can see it now, NG, bro. It's in there. They want 39 million for Jao Pinto. To be fair, Salas plays Cam. Right wingers. Let's get... Because Conte sounds good, but it would be good to get a winger that can play on both sides. Ludovic Juli. Oh, lads, do we go for Ludovic Juli? He doesn't look that good, though, Ludovic Juli. Edmilson, Barrow, Scalotto. Guillermo, Barrow, Scalotto. Oi, we're going for this lad. We'll pay the four million. I'll pay 4 million. He's good. Jackson. Don't remember him. Brian Laudrup. Jesus Christ. There's a blast from the past. Plays false nine. Plays on the wing. Plays shadow strike. He's a good player. Good player. Zlatan. Yeah, we should probably try and sign some of these young players for the future, to be fair. I am not selling. 
Nesta. I don't care what anyone says. I am not selling Nesta. Giuseppe Pancaro. Nope. We need Giuseppe Pancaro. We can get rid of Gotardi. Oh, everyone's been in May night. A bit more for Sorin. Boca Juniors want more. Fair enough. He's a five-star winger. We need another winger, so... Oh, Pancaro. The finances weren't right, bro. If, if they come back with 1.2 million, you can go in it. Safe, breath. Start negotiations. Star player. Pay rise. Win Serie A. Jesus Christ. This guy wants a lot, bro. He is quality, though. 105k a week. Oi. 115. Wow. I hope we don't get him, man. He's good, but... 150 man wants more money than Rivaldo, bro. He's moving mad. Steven Gerrard. Yeah, mate. Gerrard would be class. Actually, Stephen Gerrard will be class. Fanini, George, Marcelo, Delgado. Plays across the line, you know. Plays across the line. It could be good. Make an offer. We'll make an offer of 5 million. Patrick Campos, Mario Stanich. I mean, they're the players that we want to get. Is your Marcelo Gallardo's. And if that doesn't work, then we'll try and get Fanini, George in. Because he's an absolute little rocket. Boskic injured, Nedved injured. Oh, what? Nedved injured as well, bruv. We've got no wingers for the next game. This is peak, man. We're playing Sampdoria with no wingers. But we could have Rivaldo. We could get the Rivaldo deal done, the Sorin deal done at left back. I mean, we've got a very good centre back in as well. 36 million for Rui Costa. Rui Costa. Oh, okay. 93 grand a week. I would have to get him with the, with the, what do you call it? Combined goals and assists. This is the best part of this save, lads, is buying all these players. Honestly, it is unbelievable. You can just go out and buy all these players. It's madness. 7 million signing on fee, bruv. 6 million. Go away, man. We'll give you an agent fee in it. 800k. Let's put up the bonuses, man. Put up the bonus. There we go. Rui Costa contracts in. Del Piero. Oh, I don't think Juventus would want to sell him, mate, but Delps would be great. I love Alejandro Del Piero. He's one of my favourite players of all time. I'd, I'd love... For us to have Del Piero at some, pay, some stage. Thierry Henry as well next season. We'll bid for Thierry, man. Nedved, Sparks, injury crisis. Paul Ocon can go on loan. That's fine. Di Ferrado, nope. Pancaro, nope. Porto bid for Paolo, nope. Jao Pinto bid accepted. Oh, mate, we're bidding for so many players. I've forgotten how many. Oh, I walked away. That's my bad. We've got Rivaldo coming. We don't... Zanetti, Cannavaro. Yeah, mate. Cannavaro would be good. Honestly. Cannavaro would be good. Mark Racing have decided they want 7 million for Delgado. I think we've got so many options on the table, lads. We might not be able to offer contracts. Like, we've literally got so many offers on the table that it's becoming difficult, like, to get these players in. But we do need we do need the wings. Like we've got Buffon in goal now. I'm happy with that. Balaam at centre back. I'm happy with that. We need a left back, and we need a left winger. See, I'd rather play. Oh, we haven't got another left winger though, have we? Boskic is injured as well. That's the issue. Maybe a young Chiellini. Oh, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Maybe, maybe. But I think we need to sort out the fullbacks. I'm buying all these forward players. We don't particularly need. We need one forward player. We don't. Rivaldo would be class. Let's, don't get me wrong, Rivaldo would be absolutely unbelievable in the midfield, but it's, he's costing us a lot, and we can probably do smarter business. Um, we do need a left back, and a, like Sorin would be out of everyone. If you're going to sign one foreign player, one Pablo Sorin would be the one, um, because that sorts a gap in the team. Come on, the boys, Salas De La Pena. Look at De La Pena go, bro. Sergio Conte, Sal. Stankovic, Paolo. Oh, I thought that was going to be the goal. And they're on the counter attack. And it's not looking good. Oh, come on, De La Pena with your bald head, bruv. Get back. Run, bruv. They're going to score. Paolo's there. We've got Gigi Buffon in goal, bruv. In Buffon, we trust. Vieri, not that. Oh, he's trying to score from there, man. What's he doing? Butchered his name. Oh, no, bro. I oh, know. Sorry, bro. I oh, know. I butcher everyone's name, man. The pronunciations isn't my best thing. Salas. Go on, Salas. Salas. That's a goal, bro. Come on, Marcelo Salas. We don't need a cam. We've got Salas. Why am I buying cams when we've got Salas, lads? 
Let's go. Salas kicks it, kicks it off for us. Marcelo Salas with the goal puts us back up into fourth above the arch enemy Roma and only four points behind Juventus with these sign-ins coming in as well. Could the league title be on, lads? Could the league title be on? Grandoni. Manini. Grandoni. Valeri. Francesco Totti. Oh, mate, if we wasn't Lazio, I would I would 100% have Francesco Totti. But because we're Lazio, it's a little bit... It's going to be hard to get Francesco. Ortega misses a sitter. Ariel Ortega there with the sitters. Missing the sitters there. Unbelievable miss there. Let's us off the hook. Balaam into De La Pena. Never heard of that Danish centre-back before. Oh, referee. That's a red card and a penalty. That's a red card and a penalty. It has to be a big red card and a penalty there. Surely. Penalty. Where's, where's the red card, ref? Nah, no, gave him a talking. Salah steps up. Salah scores. Already know, Micah. Chile, Mare, Mercurial Chile and Marcelo Salas doesn't miss from there. Come on, the boys. 2-0. We are absolutely flying on this stream. It doesn't normally happen, but it is happening for us today. As Lazio push forward. Lagele still going. Sergio Conte Sao is there. Stanchevich, Salas. Oh, Vieri. Bobo. Oh, he doesn't normally miss on his left peg. But Bobo Vieri has missed that one. And it's a shame from Bobo Vieri there. Still going to praise up the lads. We've got Nesta and Balaam at centre-back. This is class. Facchetti. I'm just posting Italian players. Mate, we need to. These are good shouts, bro. These are good shouts, 100%. Like, we need the Italian players in there because if we don't have them, then, yeah, I mean, we're just going to go out of, out of fashion. Come on, the boys. Let's finish off this stream with a dub. And I say finish off because... We, we are losing numbers left, right, and centre on the stream. So, yeah, that's my bad for not for not being as entertaining as usual. Sorry, lads. 61st minute. Nesta with the clearance. Sergio Conceição is there. Sosa's there. Ortega's there. We're winning the league and we're winning the transfer window. Let's go, bro. We are, man. Let's go, Liam. We are going to win it, mate. Let's just see who we can get in. We've got to be sensible with the signings. Like, I want to see Ronald Rivaldo, but... Do we need Rivaldo? No. Would it be nice to have Rivaldo? 100%. Salas. Oh, Salas. Oh, Marcelo Salas. Oh, Marcelo Salas. With the hat trick. Yeah, Salas finishes him off. There we go. Paolo's off. Pancaro's on. Almelda's coming on. We just need a bit more depth. Don't know how to write this. Let's go. Nah, Butcher Chiellini's name. Oh, fair enough, man. I knew what you meant. I knew what you meant straight away. Like, I genuinely knew, like, you meant Chiellini. Like, it's fine. We've absolutely smashed Sampdoria. This is a good sign. Oh, Buffon concedes on his debut. We haven't lost today, Liam. We have not lost a game today. We've smashed teams left, right, and center. We've been absolutely phenomenal, lads. Lazio coming for the trophies. 100%, bro. We're coming for all the trophies, man. Stankovic is going to come for Salas. Salas is going to come off for Cavari. It's like I'm saying, we just need a little bit more depth in the midfield. And I feel like maybe we need to be more sensible with the signings. Instead of signing, like, um, Rivaldo for, like, 36 million, we go out and get some ballers that are, like, four-star, but that are, like, you know, four or five million, like Barry Ferguson from Rangers, for instance, would be a great player to get. Mihailovic... Good save from Ferron in goal. We need a left back. We need a, uh, someone who can play across the front line as a backup player. Uh, we need a centre mid for depth. And yeah, probably if we can get a cam in as well, that would be class. But we are coming for the trophies, boy. We are coming for all the trophy dems. Oh, Kuto gives the ball away. Let's go on def very defensive because I feel like Vincenzo Montella is going to score here. Vincenzo Montella up against Almelda in the midfield. Is that Almelda? That's, that's not Almelda, is it? Oh, what a pass. Buffon didn't make the save, but looked like he was going to. Nah, we haven't lost. We, we haven't lost today, lads. We haven't lost. 
And that's why we're, we're challenging for the title now, because we've gone on a run, like an absolute unbelievable run. And we're through in the Cup Winners' Cup as well. So we, we're, we're the team to be feared, lads. We're the team to be feared. As Lagele's in, and he slots it past Buffon. Slots it past Gigi Buffon, and it's squeaky bum time, as we're talking about not losing a Sampdoria. Could come back in this game. Favali. Almelda. Cavari. Kuto. Sergio. Oh, Pancaro. Well played from Sergio there. Stankovic. Finish him, lad. Oh, was he missed? Before you end, could you show me how to set up the database? Yeah, mate. 100%. No worries, man. No worries. I will do that. Like I said, I, I will do that, man. No problem at all, bro. No problem at all. We've beaten Samp. Come on, lads. We've beaten Samp. We've absolutely thumped Sampdoria there. We've smashed Samp all over the place. Who have we got next game? Venezia at home. Okay, we might have to get some signings in before then. Would be nice. Um, Lazio break record. No, I'm not selling Paolo, man. Ocon can go on loan, 100%. We just need some depth, lads. We genuinely need depth. Like, centre midfield players, we need depth. I don't... Rivaldo's good, don't get me wrong. It's Rivaldo. But players like Valentin Belkovic would be good in the midfield. Where's Barry Ferguson? They said he was going to be good. Like, Johan Vogel's a decent player. Gaza. I mean, Lamps. I mean, there's a few good players in here. Josef Skopko, a hijack split. Conte Sal, Freddy Recon, Emerson. There's some good players, man. Some real good players. Nicky Button, Man United. Oh, no, Gigi, but he's still young. We play against your old save next game. We do, mate. We do. That's a, a Haim Derby. Should we call it the Haim Derby? That's what, let's call it the Haim Derby, bro. It's the Haim Derby. The Haim Derby is coming, lads. We'll play that game to finish off the stream. Why not? Why not, lads? Why, why not? We'll play Venezia to finish it. He won't make those mistakes again. It's true. I mean, there's so many good players we could get. They've got Alvaro Recoba as well. Bloody hell. We still need a left back. Yeah, we do. I've, I've bid it for one Pablo Sorin. I'm just waiting to see if he comes in, mate. Um, but let's have another look at left backs as well because we can't rely on just, you know, the one left back bid. Ashley, Cashley Cole. We could get Cashley Cole. There's only one star. But we could get him. By tense, Lizarazu, what a player. Maldini's interested as well, but he's a lot of money for a 40-year-old. Nah, you know what, yeah? Man like Phil Neville. What are we saying? Man like Phil Neville. Man like Phil Neville, you know? I'd buy Phil Neville, I'm not going to lie. I'd buy Phil Neville. Junior at Palmeirish. Oh, let's go for him as well. 15 caps for Brazil, why not? We don't get sorry and we get this lad in. I think we've got to be smarter... And not by a big, big, big players like Rivaldo. Like we've we've got to go out and get. Um... No, we're not having Pancaro. I'll try to look up some decent Italian players for those positions. Ng, you're a legend, bro, man. I appreciate the help, man. I appreciate the help. Yeah, lads. One last game, and then we'll show Harry how to uh, how to uh, set up the databases in the way that I do. Hopefully we get, you know, some other players in because, I mean, we do need them, to be fair. 35 points, Juventus. We're only four points off of them, you know. Racing club. I mean, it's going to go to the wire, innit? A lot of these players' transfers is going to go to the wire, to be fair. Ocon, Gattardi. No, we're not. Oh, Gattardi, yeah, he can go. Napoli, go away. Ocon, that's fine. Delgado still. Junior, 8.5 million. All right, that's fine. We need a left back. He's five star. Lads, we finish off today's stream against Venezia in the Haim Derby. Let's go, boys. Come on. Let's go out and get the last win of the, of the stream against the team. We should be. We are at home. 
We've got Gigi Buffon in goal, so everything's good. Gigi Buffon at the back with Balaam and Nesta, Mihailovic and Paolo Stankovic. Marcelo Salas playing off the left in this game. Um, interesting to see him playing off the left. Never seen him play off the left, but hopefully he can do a job out there. Because we are missing Big Pav. Here is Balaam. Into Alessandro Nesta. Into Ivan De La Pena, who's been absolutely quality for us. Bobo's in. Bobo! Taibi with the save. And if you're a Man United fan, you will know that goalkeeper as being one of Man United's biggest flops ever. Massimo Taibi there with a great save. What a great save that was. Alvaro Recoba, a mercurial Uruguayan. Here is Almelda. That's a good tackle in the middle of the park. Stanker. Salas off the left. Great touch. Cuts it. Oh, Vieri's offside, isn't he? It's a finish, but I think Vieri's offside. And Stankovic is down in the middle of the park. And that's a big injury for us. That's a big injury to take at this stage. Cravari comes on and there is no one else that can play Cam, to be honest. Jesus Christ. We'll move Salas out there and put Cravari out on the left. Wow. Stankovic out as well. We do need a forward player now. If Stankovic is injured, we need that player. That's where we took him off. We took him off. Stankovic uh, for Gotardi. Okay, Gotardi comes on instead then. Fair enough. De La Pena. We're playing with 10 men, lads. And we're still having all the game. What a ball. Bobo's in. Bobo hits the post with 10 men. Bobo hits the post with 10 men. Yeah, we need to build the squad. We've got the funds to build the squad. And then we go next season and, and buy big ballers. Miatovic. Because... The, the issue is going to come with injuries like we're seeing. Like We need quality, but we also need players that are a little bit versatile as well. Someone that can play in centre mid, someone that can play cam. We need a left back. Like I'm happy to spend £10 million on players, but I'm, at the moment, like Rivaldo is, is unnecessary. De La Pena. Yeah, instead of going for two three-star players. 100%, mate. It, yeah, it makes sense. Salas. Marcelo Salas Taibi with the save so close so close De La Pena Gotardi hits the bar and it's all Lazio in this game we just need to take our chances and you would think if Salas and Vieri get more they will take them yeah instead of going for 2-3 wild stars mate yeah 100% we need, we need to be sensible with the building uh, very sensible with the building 15 games in. We are three points behind Juventus. They do have a game in hand. But what is 0-0? I thought we was winning. Lads, was we not winning? Did I miss something? I genuinely thought we was winning. I swear we scored. Or was Vieri offside? He must have been offside. Did, lads, did I genuinely did I miss another goal? Because that happens to me all the time. Salas. Vieri. Blocked again. I missed it, didn't I, lads? I missed another goal that was offside. What am I doing, lads? What am I doing indeed? What am I doing? De La Pena's ball in. We still can't get the goal. Here's Conte Sal. There's no goal. Vieri was offside. Okay. Yeah, it says it was ruled out in the second minute. I missed that. Jesus Christ. I thought we was winning. I thought we was winning, lads. What am I doing? I was just sitting there like, yeah, we're just fine. We're 1-0 up. De La Pena's ball in. Nesta's there. It's a penalty. Nesta shoved in the back by Inachi. I didn't see a goal. No, it was disallowed. Fieri was offside. I, I was right when I said he was offside. And he was offside. Inachi penalty awarded. Mateus Almelda steps up. Scores. That's a brilliant penalty. You don't save penalties like that. The venom. The absolute venom from Mateus Almelda there. Was unbelievable. Yeah, I missed that too. I think we was all talking about players that we were going to buy and it all sort of like rolled into one and we just we just missed things. It happens, lads. We were too busy chatting. There was too much going on. Here is Bobo Vieri. Into Paolo. Paolo marauding. Still Paolo. Still going. Salas. Oh, I thought Salas was there. Gotardi. Oh, he's missed it again. Miatovic. Salas. De La Pena. Oh, it's over the bar. Salas is tired. Conte Sal is tired. We don't have anyone we can swap them for. So we're like putting Pancaro on. 
Like, we're putting one-star players on, lads. This is not really what you want to see from a manager here. It's just putting players on. So we're going to have to go and buy some... Um, we're going to go and have to buy some... What do you call it? Uh, some backup, backup players we can bring off the bench and build the squad in the next stream. I think that's the most sensible thing to do is to build the squad in the next stream. Getting a couple of players, you know, cheap players that, that are good... Um, I've got some potential. Balaam. Oh, even if we get Ronaldinho for 2 million and he's one star, we know Ronaldinho is world class and he'll play. So we'll get very good very quickly. So, yeah, maybe we do that. It's uh, We'll discuss it in the Discord, lad, afters as well. But I will show Harry after this game how to set up the uh, how to set up the the, uh, the database. If he's still here, uh, we will do that. Just, Harry, if you are still here, let me know, mate, because uh, at the end of this game, um, that's obviously the end of the stream, and I want to show you how to set it up. So let me know if you're still there, mate. Almelda. Twisting, turning. Almelda. De La Pena. Cravari. Gets beaten. Alvaro Acoba's up against Balaam, but Balaam's very good at the back. Is Alejandro Nesta. De La Pena. Favali, Nesta. Almelda, De La Pena. Fieri. Favali. Favali. Ah, oh, Taibi with the save. Fieri's there. Cravari's there. Is it another penalty? No. Rakoba is two against two. It's two against two. Will they nip us in the bud in the last? Oh, they're going to get the equaliser. The equaliser's coming. Favali clears. Oh, come on. <laughs> Let's go, Favali, man. It's still not over the highlight, though. Della Pena with the tackle. And it's still going. Nesta with a header away. Kuto got beaten, and he's been beaten badly, but it's out. No worries, Harry, bro. Uh, yeah, after this game, I will show you what you need to see, mate. And just ask me as many questions as you want as well, and we will go through it. We'll be here as long as you want, to be honest. Uh, I'll do some dinner after this, so... Yeah, don't worry. I've got, and I'll try and make some content as well, um, as the wife is out today. De La Pena, Pancaro, Vieri's going to win it. Vieri's going to win it. Bobo Vieri slots it in. Unbeaten stream, lads. Unbeaten stream. Let's go. It doesn't happen very often, but we are unbeaten today. Unblemished record. No draws. No defeats. All W's. We're back. We are back, lads. Here is Bobo. Still Bobo. Bobo! Oh, what a... It's unlucky there, man. He's powering through Bobo Vieri there. De La Pena whips it. Oosh. Big W, man. It is a big W, 100%. And there we are. We have done it. We've done it. Unbeaten. Now let's uh let's uh W live, let's go, Lazio are massive. Sorry bro, I love the Isla Man save, but I hate Lazio. Oh. Man, sorry to hear that, man. Why why'd you hate the Lazio save, Aaron bro? Why why'd you hate that? Is it a personal thing about Lazio? Is it What is it, bro? Let me know. Yeah, so I'm, uh, like, I, I'll stream what you guys want me to stream, man. Like, genuinely, I will stream what you want me to stream. So if you don't want me to do Lazio, and, like, we're only getting a few people on the stream, then it's not worth it. Yeah, save the game, save that. Right, setting up the database. So, starting a new game. Just standard new game. Standard, say, 24 update. Here we go. We're in here. You can set it up. So add a, so you can see here, look, here's the estimated game speed. Very fast. Large database with these leagues selected. But if you want to add the top leagues in Europe, so just go Germany, Italy. Despise their fans when I see them versus Celtic in 2019. I, no worries, bro. No worries, man. I, th I think, lads, we're going to go back to the Isle of Man tomorrow. Like... It's it's a shame, and I, I don't want to say it, but it's a fine stream. It's fine. Stream what you want. I just hold, I'll, I'll just hold a grudge. Fair enough, mate. Fair enough. It's the nostalgia. It is 100%, man. It is the nostalgia. But, yeah, back to this. England, France, Germany, Italy, Spain. They're the big leagues, in my opinion. And you can add, like, advanced settings in here. You can 
you can add more players in but like 40,000 is fine like you can drop it down like you can add in more more leagues which will add in more players like Serie C, Spanish Federation, you could go to Vanarama National League and it's still on three and a half stars so it's still good speed um, and then yeah normally what I do is I disable first window activity, disable player marking attribution if you, if you, if you can have that on or off it's up to you sometimes I have it on sometimes I have it off um, and then yeah I mean you can in here like you can go to advanced you can set up you know if you want certain divisions if you want to add them in and it'll add more players in so you can add Denmark in it will add in more players you can add in continents as well like all of Africa current international players play it and like and just see how this affects so like we can see here this is going to be a slow game average so to be honest I would just set it up without any of these like advanced settings like remove them and what you can do as well, if you if you don't want to manage in one of these top five leagues straight away, you can move it to view only. You'll still have the players, but it's very much like you can lower the player count by view only as well. How are you liking Ange at Spurs? Mate, I love it. I love Ange at Spurs. He's doing very, very well. Um, he's doing very, very well. Uh, I feel like he's going to do great for us. But yeah, those are my tips, mate. Let me know if that's all right because... Um, Join in the Discord, and I'll um, I'll see you guys in. I actually need to do some dinner because I'm actually really hungry now. Uh, but yeah, thanks for joining, guys. It's been great. We were unbeaten on stream today, so what more could you want? And yeah, and I'll see you on the stream tomorrow.